Thanks for tuning into the Boston Roll channel. Liking and subscribing the channel is free and easy, and it helps me out a lot. If you want to go a little farther with your support, I have Patreon and YouTube membership available, which includes access to the Boston Roll Discord server, early access to things I'm working on, sideboard plans, cards I'm buying, you could have me play your deck on the channel, and the highest tiers come with individual coaching sessions. If you use the YouTube membership option, you get sweet, unique YouTube badges and emotes for the channel. If you want to play what I'm playing, you can use the code Boston Roll to support my channel while you shop for cards at tcgplayer.com. And if you're playing on Magic Online, a CardHoarder.com loan account can let you play any deck anytime. If you want to wear your support, there is Boston Roll merch available. All of these links are in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. It's a big day here on the channel. It is Legacy Eternal Weekend 2021. I was traveling the last two days, so I missed the Friday and Saturday events for Online Eternal Weekend. But today is Sunday, November 21st, and I'm going to play in the third one that I can get access to. And it's pretty, it's a big deal. Like, this is my Super Bowl every year. Eternal Weekend is attached directly to this channel, this brand. Uh, I am the Vintage Champ from 2018. I have five Eternal Weekend top eights. I've top eighted the last five in a row that I've played in. It's kind of a big deal. Like there's a streak to keep going. There's a lot on the line here. And I only got one shot at Legacy this year. There's going to be three vintage tournaments next week, and I'm going to be in all of them. But one Legacy shot this year. So I got to make it count. And I went pretty deep, did some soul searching. I've had some success on the local level with Doomsday lately. Should I be doing that? Probably not, because Is It Delver is a huge part of the online metagame where my local meta doesn't really have it that much. And that's the Doomsday's Natural Predator. Do I just play Lombant? But I'm a little worried about the clock there. I'm worried about the Elves matchup. Elves have been farming these events the last two days. Elves outright won the event yesterday. It made top eight, I think, Two or three other people made top eight yesterday, or two or three total, not two or three other, but there were at least two elves in the top eight yesterday, but I think it was actually three. And then elves also made top eight on Friday, and Lone Bant's really bad against elves. Uh, all of the, the sort of Bant shells are bad against elves. And I really wanted to play a black deck for this event. I actually started with something that looks like this, Maybe returning to the channel in the future. But I was working on Esper Shark Still this morning, trying to brew this together. And while I was doing this, I had Twitter up on the other screen. And Pokemoki, former trophy leader, trophy bridesmaid, legacy grinder, generally very smart person when it comes to the legacy format, posted a Bant Splash Black deck instead which is the deck you see in front of you now. This deck is doing all the things I wanted to be doing. Like the, the loam bant or bant control shell, like the endurance, swords to plowshares, cantrip engine, uro being the threat, planeswalkers being around. This is a deck I'm very comfortable with. And this basically is the Honorog deck, like the uh, Anzi D four color control deck except instead of red for expressive iteration and red blast in the sideboard there's black for witherbloom command which is replacing the expressive iteration in the deck it's a very different card but it's a two mana two for one a lot of the time which is what we're looking for in that slot and you get plague engineer out of the board which is what i really want to be doing this weekend death and taxes huge part of the metagame elves huge part of the metagame that's also extremely well positioned I like Plague Engineer in the format right now. I'm in on this. And Pokemoki went and made these upgrades that I had been theory crafting, turning the Lone Bant Splash into black, but that deck doesn't really support black the same way it supports red. And the Elves matchups tough and all of those things. And I was really glad to see Pokemoki post this deck. There are zero basic lands in this deck, which has me a little worried. Uh, like, Lands is the second most played deck in Legacy. It's very good against all the Delver, Ragavan, Saga style decks. But I think that having all your colors be perfect all the time is worth it. The deck does respect Merit Lage with our Swords of Plowshares, Wasteland, Teferi. The sideboard has 
run afoul and surgical extraction if you survive the first merit lage. Usually this deck can survive the first merit lage. Like we we have Caracas, the plows, you can bounce it. Pretty good at our life total being over 30. We have six creatures that can block it in Baleful Strix and Endurance. So if you could get through the first Merit Lage, extracting the, the Thespian stage, make sure they don't have another one is a way forward. This deck has the tools in ways that I'm interested in for all of the important matchups for this weekend. I also get to credit this deck with Brendan from my Patreon. Brendan gave me a blank check this month to play what I want for their Patreon tier reward. And Eternal Weekend, I'm definitely going to play what I want. So, Brendan, this one's for you. Thank you, Pokemoki, for the base list. I only changed one card from Pokemoki's list. I put an Sworn Cannonist in the sideboard. Just a little extra game against Elves and Combo. I cut a Raven's Crime for this. Uh, Pokemoki has submitted several decks to the channel before. Uh, he's a person I interact with. I talk to about Legacy from time to time. And he loves Raven's Crime, and I don't. <laughs> it just comes down to that. And I, I think that card's too cute, but Others Weren't Canonist is a complete banger when you want it. And this is the deck I'm going to play today. It's all on the line. One shot at Legacy this year. I will be in try-hard mode. It, so I, I get a lot of feedback. A lot of people like the, the meme decks, the fun stuff. A lot of people also really like when I'm in just full serious mode. That's where I'm going to be today. Thanks for being here with me. Let's hope this video ends up really long. Unlike a league where I'm always going to play exactly five matches, I could pay, play 12 matches in this video if I win the tournament. I could play three if I go 0-3 drop. Who knows? Let's hope this video ends up very long and hope you all stick through it with me. Let's get into these matches at Eternal Weekend 2021. I am on the play in round one. I'm going to keep this hand with Ponder in it. There are 550-something players in this event for 10 rounds of Swiss today. That means I hope to bring you 13 rounds of content. Let's, let's see how that shakes out. This is not a basic island, but it is an island ponder keep, and I get to pretend I'm Doomsday. Decks don't really play Underground Sea ponder, or control decks don't, so we get the, the little juke there. I'm going to put Force Will in my hand in case I need it. And I can brainstorm it away if this turns out to be a fair matchup. I have a bunch of lands and life from Loam, so if they waste me here, I'm actually fine with that. Fisher's Bobble. They could be eight casts, they could just be Delver with one or two Bobbles in their deck. Oh yeah, Wasteland. Oh, they saw Dress Down off the Bobble, I believe. Or did they see Ponder? What did I put there? I hope they saw Ponder. That... If I stack Dress Down here, they're gonna know for sure I'm not Doomsday, but Ponder... Could still be that. Nice, it was Ponder. Cool. Dress Down is not a card I want in a Mishra's Bobble Wasteland matchup. I guess if they're a true artifact deck, they could have Saga. But that's not really what I'm in the market for here. I'm going to get another C and cast Ponder again. Just relentlessly bluffing Doomsday here. Witherbloom Command's going to be good. Brainstorm's always good. Okay. I'm going to put Command in my hand. If they Ragavan here, I can kill the Rag and put another land in my hand. If they waste me here, I'll just, you know, play a land and work my way up to Loam. Okay. So I'm going to put minus three, minus one, and target player mills three and regrows. Target player mills three, regrows, creature gets minus three. Black, green. Is this going to hold up as the expressive iteration that Pokemoki says it is? Okay, so I can get back a fetch land. I could get back an underground sea, or I could take this wasteland. I think I just want a fetch land because the life from the loan can get back wasteland if I want that. Brainstorm. All right, maybe I just wanted wasteland. If they like miss on land here, I can cheese them. They didn't miss on land. Another DRC. This one is delirious. That was a good draw. I think I want to swords to plowshares and then life from the loam in that order. Swords to plowshares. I can force of will the Merktide Regent, but I would like to load up on lands right now and make sure that that's happening for the rest of the game. And this deck does have a bunch of 
answers to Murktide Regent in Swords to Plowshares to Fairy, etc. Though, if they cast one right now, it could be trouble. I've never been so relieved to see an expressive iteration. I basically don't care about Wasteland the rest of the game. That's the power of a single Life from the Loam in a control deck versus fair Wasteland decks. And then I have Brainstorm to cash these extra lands into real cards. If they somehow miss a land drop, I could Wasteland, Loam back Wasteland, and put them under the gun. There's a lot of possible branches here. They had their own Wasteland, which is a card that is not good in the face of my Wasteland. Do I want to Dredge Loam? Kind of do, but I also don't really. If I dredge Loam, I'll go up to eight cards in hand, play Wasteland, waste them, cast Loam, and I'll, I'll have to go to discard, so I'm not going to dredge Loam this turn. I think I'm going to brainstorm and see where this goes. It goes into Baleful Strix and Uro, all welcome cards to see. I'm going to put Underground C, and do I actually want this Wasteland in the mix? I think I do. I could waste them here and draw the land that I pretty much want to draw anyway. I am getting in on that. Let's go. I have a shitload of lands if they want to get scrappy in that direction. In a game where both players are wasting each other, someone is probably wrong. Like, they wasted me, and I untapped and wasted them. Like, one of us probably needs these lands more than the other, and we'll find out who pretty soon as this game progresses. Okay, they brainstormed into a wasteland. That tells me that they probably don't have another land. I actually do want to dredge loam here, because that clears all the lands I just put on top of the deck. And fetch for... Oh, these lands don't cast Baleful Strix. I'm going to have to get Tropical Island here. I'm going to cast my loam. I want to be set up for next turn. I'm going to have to discard some of these cards, but I do want to be a little bit ready. I don't know, this game's starting to get weird. I feel like I may have misstepped somewhere with the colors I have access to. Okay. Them dazing me there is like me wasting them anyway. Like I'm up a land and they're down a land. Rag, okay. Ragavan is somewhat troublesome. I'm not going to dredge alone this turn. There we go. It's a little Swords to Plowshares action. Plow that. Really wish I could cast this Baleful Strix here instead of Plow. I have a force. I also have a force. I'm going to pitch the Brainstorm. I think Strix is just a better long-term answer to Murktide Regent. So of course, I just hope they don't have that card. This is a Dredge Loam turn for sure. I'm loaming back Wasteland, Wasteland Underground Sea. Oh, we're in there. I'm getting ugly here with the, the Wastelands. It was clear that they didn't have a land drop until this turn. And then next turn, I can waste them if they give me a target, or I could just play Baleful Strix or Uro. Just Uro, leave Wasteland up. We're starting to get the hooks in here. And opponent agrees. They're hooked. They're just packing it in. Wasteland, real good. Turns out I was right in the one of us is wrong to Wasteland fight. All right, Witherbloom Command kills their things and gives me more Wastelands. Carpet of Flowers. It's a non-bow with my Wastelands, but it's a combo against theirs. Mystical Dispute, Hydroblast, all good cards here. There's options on Plague Engineer, we'll see. And there's options on Plague Engineer and Veil of Summer. We'll see how many cards I'm going to cut. Definitely Force of Negation. Rest Down is not for this matchup. Clusterstorm's good. I don't want all my Force of Wills, I want some numbers still in. Endurance is a banger. Jace can probably take a break. The 4-mana blue spell against the Day's Pyroblast deck. The removal is necessary. I do like Teferi. That's a effective reprieve against Murktide Regent. I'm currently 6 in, 6 out, which is nice. I could lose another Force of Will if I want a Plague Engineer or a Veil, but I don't think I want... I definitely don't want Veil. Veil's good in Counter Wars, but they're not going to have like Thoughtseize or Abrupt Decay or anything like that. This is literally only for Counter Spells. Not that counter spells are bad, like having source of pleasures resolve is a good thing. Engineer is a three mana card. It does that only addresses Ragavan, really. At least in a time frame that I needed to. Yeah, I don't think I want to play Engineer. It's just too inefficient. 
I'm going to keep in two forces on the draw when I'm on the play, or if I'm on the play for a game three, I'll consider Veil of Summer over one of the forces. But for now, here's these cards. I might want Narset here. So, uh, that, again, that's a blue card that dies to Pyre of Last Bolt. Hard to cast because it's a three drop. Just going to try to stay efficient and card advantage here. I'm going to keep this. The mana situation's a little soft, but I think it's okay. Please cast Ponder. Oh, they have a basic. Okay, that's fine. They followed my, my request and cast Ponder, but they did it off a of basic. I was really hoping to get a cheesy wasteland here. Okay, I'm going to ponder off of Tropical Island. I'm doing Tropical Island because I don't want them to waste the white source. It's eventually going to be really important. Oh, this is dangerous. Uh, I'm not going to shuffle, though. Caracas is a white source. It also has specific interaction against Ragavan. But I'm out of blue sources for the next couple turns if they have Wasteland right now. They did shuffle their ponder last turn, by the way. For what that's worth, if it's worth anything. But if they wasting me this turn, it means they're not casting a spell this turn, because they've already tapped their colored source. And I do have land drops to make. But they just won't have wasteland, it's fine. We're going to easily ponder out of this situation we're in. Oh, they had the wasteland. <laughs> fine. Okay, hard mode. They did not shuffle that ponder. And they thought about it for a really long time. Like, I hope the question was, like, Wasteland, two bad cards. And they were deciding how important that was. Brainstorm, okay. Bobble. So they're going to see another non-land on top of my deck. Or they're not going to activate Bobble. Oh, they missed their land drop, too. They're Brainstorm locked. They saw Baleful Strix, which is not a card they saw last game. And uh, that card looks pretty bad right now. With the mana I have available. Oh, uh, yeah, they're missing land drops. Let's go, let's go. Land, land, land. Yes! Easy game. It's time to ponder off of Underground Sea. I have more blue sources than black sources in the deck, and I want to make sure I can Strix next turn. Oh, Force of Will, Life from the Loam Tundra. Hell yeah. Important lesson here that my opponent is demonstrating is why the... Delver decks generally don't play basics anymore. All of their good cards are red. So, like, if you fetch basic mountain, you can't daze. If you catch basic island, you can't cast any of their threats. Like, I would bet my reputation that their hand has some DRCs, Ragavans, like, all that sort of stuff in their hand right now that they just can't cast. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good about this one at this point. Have multiple answers to Merktide lined up. They're going. To, they're discarding to hand size for the second time, and I still have seven cards in hand. I want to ponder here. I'd really like to find a green source and get my loam happening. Oh yeah, easy. I think I can attack. Like I have Gutshot and Swords to Plowshares if they rag me. Like dash Ragavan real quick. Maybe I should have put Flusterstorm in hand because I'm not really. Oh, I can Loam, then Brainstorm the cards into different cards. And then Dredge Loam to clear the cards I don't want. Or I could just pass the turn. I'm just going to hold up. I can Loam next turn when I won't have to discard all the cards I'm getting. I can Brainstorm into Fluster if I need it this turn. Ah, oh, they hit their land drop. That's so lucky. Looks like Murky Rage coming in. I'm going to fight over this with Swords to Plowshares. And do I want to wait until I draw Flusterstorm to do it? If I brainstorm now, I can, I guess I can just let it resolve, plow it, and then see what I need to do after that. I don't actually have to do any of that because I also just have Baleful Strix in play. I guess I should have wasted first. Right, I'm gonna, oh, I can't let Force of Will resolve, duh. Not how this works. Okay, I'll brainstorm here. Cluster Storm's on top of the deck. I can put back Gutshot and Teferi. I actually don't even need to fluster here. I could just Teferi and bounce this idiot with fluster back up. So this is like a real removal spell. All right, I'll go for the fluster. If they have a second force for the plow, they probably have to move in on it here. And their hand we know is full of spells. So yeah, let's let them force the plow again. And then we untap and Teferi them into the dirt. Ooh, 
or they just don't have it. Here's Wasteland. Here's Bayou and Blue, White, Colorless. Here's Teferi. I'm going to plus Teferi. And I'm just going to pass the turn right now. I can loam in their end step. I Maybe I could have attacked. I, I'm not really... Oh, if they dash Ragavan, then I can't loam. So that's why I held on to that. Tropical Island, Wasteland, Misty. End step loam. Not going to dredge. Don't need to. Attack with Strix. I'm probably going to bounce my own Strix here. Just get a million cards. Bounce Strix. Don't dredge loam. And, okay. Yeah, they're conceding to that. They know what's going on here. Wasteland effectively won both of those games because game one, it literally denied them their resources to play the game. Game two, they fetched around it in a way that I bet their hands full of red spells and they couldn't cast them. Oh, Wasteland, powerful tool in Legacy Magic. No surprise there. On to the next round. One to know. I'm in the draw on round two and I'm going to keep my hand. It's got lands and spells. It's got Force of Will if it's unfair. Prismatic Ending and Wither Bloom if it's fair. Fire Bluff Bridge, or Silver Bluff Bridge. I've never seen this card in Legacy. But this is clearly some sort of 8-cast Emery kind of deck. Ugh. Prismatic Ending would be great here if this was Swords to Plowshares, but as it stands, I think I have to force this thing. I don't feel great about this. But that card's really powerful. Okay, I'm really glad I didn't draw Swords to Plowshares immediately there. Would have been a pretty significant feel bad. These lands are indestructible. Got to keep an eye on that with my Wastelands. Make sure I don't spew off on something that doesn't work. Witherbloom Command gives minus three, minus one. So that doesn't even kill Emery on the follow-up. Ancient Tomb from them. Chalice of the Void. Uh, Witherbloom Command does remove that. I can brainstorm in response, or I could just ignore this. I might as well brainstorm. Let's get it. There's a plow and an ending. How do I want to handle this? I think I would have put... Or I'm going to shuffle anyway. Like, the mill three won't matter. So I'm going to put Tropical Island and ending back on top of the deck in that order. And I'm going to get a Black Source and Witherbloom plus mill myself. Or, yeah. Probably do want to mill myself. I can mill either player, and I, then I get to regrow a land regardless of what player I mill. I think I just want Underground Sea here. Mill myself, destroy Chalice. Black. If this doesn't work, I still have two endings that can fight over the Chalice. This feels really good, though. Yeah, that felt like expressive iteration to me. And I milled over a Wasteland. I can hit the Ancient Tomb next turn. Guess what I'd be worried about is, like, jamming Karn here. I can answer Urza. Sigh. I do have answers to that. Oh, no, I don't, because I need white. All right, well, I'm going to have to fetch white, answer Sigh, and then follow up with the Wasteland, I think. The four-color mana base isn't free. Force of Will. Oh, I wish I drew that. Last turn. I'm going to go for the Wasteland first. Like, I'm more worried about them like jamming Karn or Urza on a turn. I can't counter it. I'll work my way through these creatures eventually. Lotus Petal. There's an unfortunate number of Thopters to have to fight through. Oof. Another Emery also. Spellbomb, Urza Saga. So this is a Saga deck. Brainstorm. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I'm going to... I'm likely to just plow Emery this turn. I'm going to Brainstorm off of green mana. Second plow is interesting. Ending to fairy. I'm going to put back plow and ending. I'm going to plow Emery right now. I think I want Savannah to do this with in case I draw Burrow. Get the Emery out of here. We can ending Psy next turn. And Teferi can start to get control of this. Uh, I'm taking seven, going to seven along the way. Holding up Force of Will here. Drawing fresh cards. Their setup's not really in a good spot to be using Psy's ability to draw an extra card. As the Lotus Petals, you'd have to sack a Lotus Petal just to activate Psy to sack two more artifacts. You'd lose three permanents to draw a card. 
There's not a sweeper in this deck, but Endurance or Uro can stabilize immediately against the Thopters. Baleful Strix buys a bunch of time. I'm feeling pretty good here, but it could break open pretty easily if they draw a serious banger. I think Needle. I'm not going to fight over that. What do they name in the dark? I hope they don't just blind choose to fairy. Face the Mind Sculptor. Okay, that's not the important one here. I can play to fairy now, bounce Psy, and ending a Thopter. Uh, then I can decide if I want to counter Psy on the way back down. Because Psy, they'd have to spend two Lotus Petals to use. I think I actually do want to go in on to fairy now. I'm going to make my land drop first. Fairy. Put Psy back in your hand. Strix is not bad. They haven't drawn a land in a few turns. If they want to spend two Lotus Petals on this Psy, I think I'm okay with that. That's going to be like the last spell they cast the game for the game. And if they spend their Petals on Psy, I can pretty comfortably force it because I'm not going to have to worry about a 4-drop after that. Unfortunately, because I didn't fetch Tundra with Savannah, I can't rebuy Witherbloom Command right now with Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, that actually sucks a lot. All right, they went in on Psy. I am going to force this. I know it's going to work because I have Teferi. All right, cool. Uh, I forced the Psy because I was worried about a zero generating another thing. Yeah, Witherbloom Command, like killing Pithing Needle and a uh, Thopter would be pretty nice. Strix trades with one of these. Ending trades with one of these. Strix draws a card along the way. I'm really in the market for Endurance or Uro. Sending one to Teferi is the, the correct play. Though that does add a turn to the clock. Like if they attacked me for four twice, I couldn't crack this fetch land. Okay, they know about this card I'm drawing. I don't think there's a reason to shuffle. Oh, can't waste that. Blue, black, bricks. Might as well play out the wasteland, and I can ending one of these Thoppies. Just get into the slow business of working through these now. Big stock cast is pretty scary right now. Opal, okay. Boundary, that's really bad. They can turn their Thopters in straight into constructs, which means that can I block this turn? Not sure if I can even block this turn because I have to leave it up for a 4 4 next turn. But then I'm dead to the 2 2 because I have to fetch. Yikes. All right, I can't block this turn. I think I'm going to end step dress down just for the cycle. I think I want to do it off Tropical Island. Blue, blue, green, green. It's important. Or, like, I have to get blue here to cast my card. And I want an island to turn on my Mystic Sanctuary. Yeah, I'm going to get Trop. I'm going to dress down in the end step. If I draw Uro, I can just shove it straight into play. Though, so, that makes me dead. Uh, maybe I wanted the three life more than I wanted the Uro in play. Okay, got super lucky there. Green, blue, colorless. Here's this. We are very close to action here. I'm going to wait for them to make one of their Thopters into a construct. And then cast the plow. But I guess they don't need to do that, huh? Alright, they played around that well. I'm dead to force of will. If I can start attacking, I'm going to feel a lot better about my life. Yeah, this actually sucks. There's my block. They should just pass priority. And then they can just constructify the one that I just plowed. Yeah, so the plow doesn't actually kill anything. I'm at one. That retrofer boundary is so good. Emery. Woo. Yeah, I've been just like half a step behind this whole game. I need two good cards right now. There's one. Okay. Um... That's actually really good. If I attack, I go to four. If I don't attack, so I, I just have to attack here. But there's a drain two life version of this also. Okay. I'm going to attack, see where it goes. Go to four. Face the mind sculptor. That is still not allowed, regrettably. Four, five, six. Even if I go into drain mode, I lose. I could. Destroy Pithing Needle. Oh, I think that's the play. Destroy Pithing Needle. Regrow. Okay. Down the line. 
green, or I should use savanna, green, black, destroy pithing needle, and get a land, I think is the play. So I hit the pithing needle, I mill myself, get a land back, I have to get back a fetch land, and then misty rainforest, fetch, put Witherbloom Command back on top of my deck with Mystic Sanctuary. And Jace bounce the 4-4. Four 4-4 four. Four four is bounced. They can't untap Foundry right now. They can attack me to 1. Or they could kill Jace. But they can't kill Jace and tap Emery. They're a Thought Monitor in their graveyard. There's not. That's lucky. They can't Chalice on 2. This is really tight. Opal. Okay. Are they going to Chalice on 2 after all? Psy. Okay. Uh, Psy can make a 1-1 one, one from the graveyard and draw them a card and represent a second 4-4. Four, four. But if they do that, Jace will still be in play. Yeah, they can't kill Jace and advance their board here. Uh, please give me a turn with Jace. Okay, they bobbled. They are betting on Retrofit or Foundry. Versus Jace here. They know Bobble's going to find Witherbloom Command. Burrow gets to attack. Wow, this has been an awesome game. Whichever way this breaks, this has been really exciting. I think Endurance still cracks it open. That just gives me a, a big idiot in play. And also turns off Emery for a little while. Or at least slows Emery down. They are putting a point on Jace. So if I bounce a creature this turn, I lose Jace. Drawing Witherbloom. I think I attack with Uro first and see what happens. That extra card can be worth a lot. Endurance, you don't say. That's exactly what I wanted. Do I have enough mana to do everything I want to do here? I can brainstorm with Jace. Uh, I should Wither Bloom first. So just making sure I have three green, which I do. Green, black, Wither Bloom command. I'm going to destroy Retrofitter Foundry. And do I want to drain them, or do I want to kill a Thopter? But they'll just flip whatever Thopter I target into a Construct on the way out. Might as well drain two, I guess. Or do I just want the land? Do you always just want the land? Oh yeah, I'm about to activate Jace to Brainstorm. I definitely want the land. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to target them with the mill, actually, because I have enough shit in my graveyard. And I'm about to Endurance them. Target player mills three. Destroy target non-thing. All right, you mill three. Destroy Retrofitter Foundry. They make a construct in response. They mill three. Thought monitors in the graveyard now. I'm going to pick up a land. Then I'm going to brainstorm with Jace. Prismatic ending. Are you good? If I put back Uro and Polluted Delta, I can prismatic ending. Yes, the 4-4. Four, four. And still have green mana. Prismatic ending, the 4-4. Four, four. And I'm holding up Endurance. I would really like to hit this Mishra's Bobble with Endurance. If they sack it in the end step, I'll Endure. All right, they know better. Okay. Uh, I'm. Oh, I can wait for... I can wait for Emery to target something. I don't need to... It's not Merktide Regent. Ancient Tomb, kind of scary. They have one card left in hand. But they did just hit the Magic 4 mana. That's usually where decks like this want to be. Chalice on one. Okay. Sucks, but okay. But they are hellbent and at three life. Here's Endurance, which I feel like is gonna shut this game down. Alright, your graveyard's gone. Emery's a brick for the turn. If they want to kill Jace, they have to suicide a Thopter to kill it with Psy. And then I have lethal on the attack back. Yeah, they actually can't attack here. Oh no, they forgot Endurance has Reach. Sorry. I mean, great for me, but no, no for them. They draw for Bobble. I draw for Turn. I knew that was there. I know my next card. I forget what it is. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I could just bounce the Thopter, make an attack, and... Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Sorry, Jace. Bounce Thopter. Attack for Lethal. I hope. Wow! That was an incredible game. Holy guacamole.
Witherbloom Command coming in clutch. Definitely bringing Witherbloom Command, Seeds of Innocence. We didn't really talk about this one, but uh, destroy all artifacts, can't be regenerated. Controller of each of those artifacts gain life equal to its mana value. So we don't really care about life gain, and a lot of the things we want to kill cost zero, but this is exactly the sort of banger that we're looking for. Plague Engineer can name Thopter. They're not really going to have islands in their deck. Narset could matter if they're an Echo deck. Mystical Dispute, every card I saw is blue. We did see Chalice of the Void, but Witherbloom Command does so much work there. We also saw Saga, but I have the Dress Downs and Wastelands in the main. So I have seven cards here. I've divided them into like yeses and maybes. Narset's probably actually a yes. How do I make room for these? I'm not sure I care about Flusterstorm. Some of the things they're sca I'm scared of are creatures. So maybe Force of Negation is not only not coming in in an additional quantity, but I'm cutting the one that I already have. The Fairy and Endurance both look really good. Loam looks really good. Baleful Strix actually looks kind of medium. This is a matchup where I actually just want all my cards. This is tough. Maybe I leave one Plague in Engineer in just to find when I'm ready for it, because Seeds of Innocence is doing a lot of that same work. Jace was clutch that game, but they did show me their willingness to heads up Pithing Needle it before they even see it. But maybe I can cut it. Burrow's life gain was really important. Is Mystical Dispute better than Baleful Strix? Is the last question here. Maybe Force of Will is worse than Mystical Dispute. Just on the one for one versus two for one calculation. I'm going to go in like this. This is really tricky sideboarding though. My hand, I'm going to keep. I have Island Ponder. I'm, I don't expect Wasteland or Back to Basics out of this deck. We didn't see a single basic land. I don't know if they'll have room in what they're doing for a Wasteland. This hand can answer a quick problem, or it can answer a slow grind in Narset and Dress Down. Chalice on one would be kind of tricky, because I don't have a good answer. Like, I don't have Prismatic Ending or the Bloom Command ready. So if I'm deciding if I'm going to force a Chalice on one would be the, the first tricky decision of this game. I hope I get to ponder. Just let me ponder once before I have to figure out if I care about Chalice. It's so nice when you can ignore Chalice of the Void. And the Caracas in this hand lets me ignore Emery also. Just tap land go. They mold to five. Tough start. I'm going to lead on the Tundra that's already in my hand for this ponder. Endurance, Brainstorm, hell yeah. All those cards are really good. I'm just going to keep that ponder. Finding the second blue source to get Narset online is pretty important. Ancient Tomb, Emery. All right, I have Caracas that can keep that under control. They milled over Force of Will and Court of Cunning. Wow, Court of Cunning scary. Decks like this one don't always have Force of Will in them. So it's good to see one now. And let's just handle Emery. Bouncing every Emery every turn does let them dump cards if they're a Echo of Eons deck as well. But Emery's not exactly free here. If they only have one artifact and they're tapping Ancient Tomb to cast every turn. Psy, that one's a little trick here. Yeah, I think I want to force Psy pitching Brainstorm or pitching Dress Down. I'm going to force Psy pitching Dress Down and then jam Narset next turn. Like, I, I'm not prepared. Oh, well, there's that. I was about to say, I'm not prepared to fight through the Thopters, but maybe I am with Endurance. I can probably imagine some number of zeros are in their hand right now. I'm going to get Underground C. Or, no, I, I want Tropical Island. I have a Black Source in my hand, and that gives me double green for the Endurance. Here's Narset. Now we got to pull ahead of this Saga. Activate the Queen, find Swords to Plowshares was the only option to take there. They can Emery for one now, and still activate Saga. That was a, a good turn. Love to find a Wasteland here. Or the other Dress Down. Activate Narset. Ooh, I found Seeds. That might be even better. Oh, hell yeah, Seeds. Yeah, let's put that in the hand. Hopefully the opponent's are reading that one right now. Right, bounce Emery. I'm going to play Bayou. And I can use Endurance to protect Narset from the... Or, or Plow. Like, oh, they didn't activate 
I think they... Or they realize it's going to die anyway. Ugh, I, I don't know. I don't know if that was a misclick through the end step, or if they just decided that's not important. But now I don't have to think about plowing or blocking or whatever, and Narset just gets to hang out. It's really good. It's also really smart of them to have the indestructible lands. Narset's going to keep these in check. They have to play them really slowly, when I'm sure they'd rather draw multiple cards in a turn. Wow, oh, milled a second Court of Cunning. That shit is so scary. I think I'm just going to Endurance here and start the beatdowns. Cast Endurance. Do I even bomb them? I don't think so. I'm just going to target nobody. Like, I don't care about this Emery. There's nothing with Flashback or whatever, but there are a bunch of cool cards that I don't want them to have. Bounce Emery. Or I should make sure that my Seeds of Innocence resolves before I do anything else. And I can protect it with Mystic Dispute, Green, Green, Colorless. Maybe I should have left up Tundra. I'm holding Swords to Plowshares. They bobble me twice, but they only... Oh, wow. They were supposed to bobble me on their turn, draw a card on my turn, and then... Yeah, because Narset's going to eat both of those bobbles now. That was uh, slightly not ideal. I think they should have held back the second one and bobbled me once on their own turn to draw on my turn. Yeah, they just lost two cards there. Deeds of Innocence, though. Wow. I would feel better right now if I had left Tundra up over a Tropical Island. But we got the GGs in the chat, and we got the concession. We are 2-0. and oh. That felt really good. Witherbloom Command. That game one was freaking insane. One for the ages. All right, next round. I'm on the play in round number three against Monkeys Can't Cry, who is a known doomsday person. My hand having Force, Endurance, and Teferi. Those are actually three of the best cards against Doomsday. I'm going to keep this. I wish I had some more control here, like uh, a little more. Uh, like I wish one of these cards at random was a Karak or was a Brainstorm instead of like Caracas or Jace, but. All right, I have the tools. Deck plays a lot of lands. Also, always the possibility that they're just not on Doomsday today. Dress down is another piece of interaction. Normally, these fair, like, Bant-adjacent decks need three pieces of interaction to beat a Doomsday pile, and I currently have three in my hand. So let's hope for the best here. Ponder. I considered in the end step, kept the card on top, and then pondered kind of ready for this doomsday fight like let's get in here uh i'd really like to draw land but i have another turn before i have to discard to hand size i'm not about to cycle this dress down no way not yet they chose to shuffle and then missed a land drop i would take a wasteland here oh fuck shit get hit here we go sometimes you get exactly what you ask for taking them off days or like the possibility of cantripping maybe like, running out LED just to not discard to hand size is good for me. This isn't going to get better. Oh, now LED is gone forever. They can't make that pile anymore. Found the land. Is it go time? Fetching. Doomsday doesn't usually play basics. Okay. They are moving in on the Doomsday, and I'm not going to fight over the Doomsday spell. I'm going to fight over the pile with all of my ways I can beat a Doomsday pile here resolves i think the teferi window just closed i'm not gonna tap out into days to play teferi as much as i would like to they have to make a pile that beats endurance force of will and dress down and they have to do it without lion's eye diamond it's interesting if they were slow rolling a lotus petal and they just go like lotus petal consider right now then i don't get the dress down in the mix. Let's see what's... I guess the consider line doesn't work without Lion's Eye Diamond, so they can't go right now. I'm looking for counter magic in this exile pile. We've got one, two, three dazes. There's probably a daze in their hand. But there's no force of wills in this pile. That's terrifying. Okay. Alright, maybe they can beat 
three things if they have all of their forces and a daze over there. That was a really good draw. Now I can play around daze with my dress down at least. So like, it's go time. We'll brainstorm. Uh, I'll brainstorm in the end step if they give me another turn before I have to take action. Not doing it now. They can make a mega slow pile that just doesn't care about endurance, I guess. Brainstorm. Okay, Mystic Sanctuary is a tapped land. So I don't think I actually want that one. That, that sucks pretty hard, honestly. Mystic Sanctuary and Teferi, I think, can both go away. Though if I find... No, I, I want to leave up. Uh, but Jace... Jace is not going to matter this game. Okay, I'm going to put back Jace and Mystic Sanctuary, and then I'm going to brainstorm again in the end step. A little more aggressive than I normally brainstorm, but this game's not going to last much longer. I'll grab Underground Sea and cast another Brainstorm now. All right, hit a bunch of lands, another Endurance. Put back those two. If I cast a Fairy, they're going to have to make a move about it. But I'm just going to pass here. I think Teferi is better as Force of Will food. Whether they have a Cavern in the main deck or not is going to matter a bit. Okay, Endurance is on. There's three cards in the graveyard. There is a Cavern in the main deck. and. I'm gonna Endurance Pitching Uro first. There's the first Force of Will. And I can't Force of Will Thassa's Oracle, so I'm gonna Force of Will their Force of Will. Pitching to Fairy. Force again, they're down to one card in hand. Dress down, there is a land on top of my deck. So I can dress down, if this resolves and I get the draw, then I can hard cast a second Endurance. All right, cool. It just took three pieces of interaction. Like, they had two beat, but like I said several turns ago, th the third piece will usually get the job done. Well, that was scary. Doomsday is so stressful. All right. What do I want here? Mystical Dispute and Witherbloom Command are both in. Veil of Summer's in. They're a deck, they're a blue-black deck that wants to be highly interactive. So Veil of Summer saying No Way Jose is a good one. Ethersworn Canonist is kind of tricky. I really like Canonist if my answer is anything other than Dress Down. But if you Dress Down as your spell for the turn, and then they that turns off your Canonist, and then if they interact with your Dress Down and remove it, then you've cast a spell for the turn, and Canonist will remember that. Uh, it's like kind of an awkward dance when specifically Dress Down is involved, but I love it when anything else is what you're fighting over. Surgical has text. Carpet could have text, but I don't really. I'm not really interested in that. Narset and Surgical are in my maybe pile. The rest of these are no's. Swords of Plowshares all come out. And Prismatic Ending all come out. That's seven out, seven in right now. That's clean. Are there any bad cards left in the deck? Like Baleful Strix is not great, but it is at least a blue card. You can pitch it. Maybe a carpet is better than. A Strix, though. I don't really want Jace. That's not what this game's about. Plague Engineer doesn't matter. Okay. I have Wasteland and Teferi if they are on a Shelldock Isle strat, which most Doomsday decks aren't on anymore, but if they do have it, I have a plan. Is Jace better than Strix? Jace 2 better than Strix 3? I don't think so. I think I want to play cards early. All right. This looks pretty good to me. A carpet into Canonist with Dress Down back up. If they keep anything resembling like a slow and steady pile, this hand's really good. If they keep a lightning fast pile, this hand's kind of bad. But even if they do like Dark Ritual Doomsday here, okay, that card doesn't cast Dark Ritual. And it tells me a lot about the deck. They're Grixis. That's not the normal construction of the deck these days. There's carpet though. I get to ponder this turn. We go to second main. Carpet makes a blue, and I get to cast ponder. Ponder found an endurance. I can't pitch cast endurance anyway. I don't really want them to see both dress downs. I'm just going to draw the tropical island and pass the turn. Because if they play a, an island, I can canonist while leaving dress down still up. But this is the situation I mentioned where canonist and dress down specifically are not a combo. I could also just shove to Fairy playing around days. 
They did not shuffle. That's interesting. Okay, that makes me want to go in on Canonist. Yes, make white. Play Tropical Island. That represents the most things I could do to mess with them. Yeah, I got to force well this. Force pitching force. We're just working through their answers at this point. Uh, is it time? Am I dead all at once? Okay, this can cast Doomsday. If their last card in hand is Brainstorm, they could go for it all at once. I don't know if they will go for it all at once. Like, I'm, I'm hoping for a, a slow pile here, but if they figure I got a cheese to win, then they're going to be in good shape. If they do pass the turn, though, I can play Teferi off the carpet mana, and I'm holding up Dress Down. Doomsday has resolved. Three Rebs in exile. Here to be passing the turn. If they force this to Fairy, that means they can't force the Dress Down next turn. Yes, use Carpet. Make blue, white, cast to Fairy. Red Blast is pretty scary here. Right, force Pitching Force. So they're Hellbent. I can Dress Down next turn, guaranteed. At least find a spot for it. And then that pivots into casting Endurance and on my turn and holding up Dress Down a second time. I think this one's going to be hard for them to win. Straight Wraith, okay. Wraith, okay. Oracle, okay. They made a multi-Oracle pile. They're currently Hellbent. I know this Dress Down is going to be good. Second Endurance is a banger. Two cards left in their deck. Four life. Get a yes and make green here. I'm gonna make two green and play endurance just heads up. I think I'll win the damage race before they can trigger a second round of Oracle. Yeah, because I can play the other endurance still. And I'm representing dress down if they do anything frisky in between. I actually think I cast in the second endurance now. I'm gonna get underground C. Yes, the other Endurance now. If they use Interaction on this, then that's Interaction they won't have for the Dress Down next turn. And they're going to be at one... or they're, Yeah, they're going to be at one, and they lose the Oracle, which is two blue pips. And still had Dressed... I was going to cast Narset and still hold out Dress Down. Yeah, this one, that was pretty clean. There was a lot of hate in that opening hand. 3-0, defeated Doomsday. Let's keep this train rolling. We're about halfway through the video, so let me just remind you that if you like this deck and you want to try it out, you can use the code Boston Roll to support the channel while you shop for cards at tcgplayer.com, and you can play any deck anytime with cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. These links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the draw in round four, and I looked up my opponent's name. Their only legacy finish is six months ago. Maybe more. What month is it? November? Eight months ago with Esper Vile. I don't know if that information is still reliable. All right, definitely not. But my hand has ponder and lands. I'm in. I can just plow this thing into days. Or I could play ponder and try to resolve my days next turn. Ponder absorbs some of the Ragavan pain. But if they waste me, I'm going to feel really bad about it. All right. I'm just going to plow right now. Yeah, days was going to get me regardless. Trying to work through this. This is one of those games that you win easily on the draw, and you're going to have to work hard. Or you win easily on the play, and it's uh, going to be hard to work on the draw. Like if I could just hit my land drop and plow this thing around days, it's a totally different game. But here we are, working in hard mode. Ragavan took a dress down, which they can cast if they just want to get a card off their Ragavan. They to cast their treasure in for just a magic card. Seems they don't want to do that, which suits me just fine. They did not shuffle their ponder. Okay. Wither Bloom command. All right, that's a next turn situation. It does kill Ragavan. It even removes a treasure. I'm going to ponder, and I am looking for a white removal spell right now. Found one. I can cast this off of Savannah and set up Wither Bloom for next turn. I'm going to wait till combat. I know my top card is Brainstorm, so at least I want to shuffle this away. Don't want to give them that card. Savannah. Birds to Plowshares. 
I'm looking extremely banned right now, which is good because that's what I am. I don't want need them to know about the black cards until they're losing to them, basically. And we're creeping up into Teferi territory, where Teferi can bounce a Murktad regent if they end up with one. Another days, okay. They're pushing pretty hard on this Ragavan. Exiled Swords of Plowshares. Yeah, go ahead, cast that. Oh, this is Murktide, though. That's going to be challenging. But my life total is pretty high. I've got some room to breathe here. Oh, wow, that one's just fucked up. Okay. I'm going to Swords to Plowshares first. Targeting Murktide Regent. See if they're going to fight over this. They do have the Force of Will, sure. And then I'm going to Witherbloom Command. I'm going to get a land back and kill Ragavan. And just hope they don't have a third days. Okay, cool. Uh, that resolved. I'm going to get one of my lands back. And I can Teferi to bounce the Murktide next turn. They have two cards left in hand. And they clearly don't have days, or they would have dazed there. Dash Ragavan sucks. I'm taking nine instead of seven this turn, and they might get a card out of it. Ugh, they got a ponder. Okay. I need them to not come up with Force Blue card because uh, Teferi needs to answer this Mirko. Or I could just draw Swords to Plowshares. That would be great. Then I can plus Teferi and not worry about it. They did not shuffle their library. I am going to play a Fetch Land and then the Teferi. Please don't have Force of Will. Okay, Teferi's in there. Bounce Merc died. Draw a removal spell? Nope. I'm dead to Lightning Bolt anyway, so I might as well cast my Ponder. I think I want Tropical Island here. And Ponder can mess with Ragavan. Okay, Uro is phenomenal here. I just need to be alive next turn. I'm really hoping to see a dash attack to Fairy. They're attacking me. That sucks. Three cards in hand. Oh, two cards in hand. That could be Lightning Bolt. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, play draw. That was the whole game. If that first Swords to Plowshares gets to resolve on that first Ragavan, I'm just like at 10 instead of 2 there. Okay. We can see how close that was, though. Witherbloom Command, Run Afoul, Carpet, Gut Shot, all coming in. Mystical Dispute. Cards I don't like. Dress Down, Force of Negation. Jace. Force of Wills. Not great. I don't remember if I brought in Vale last time, or did I do a Plague Engineer? I think I like Vale better than Plague Engineer. But I... Oh, Hydroblast, duh. I like Hydroblast better than Vale, for sure. Rix is great. Plow, Fluster, Loam, all of his cards are excellent. I like this construction. I think last time I said I would try Vale on the play and leave the second force in for the draw. And I am going to try that version. Let's do this. On the play, yeah, this hand's really good. Two removal spells, three lands, a cantrip, and a real threat slash defense. I'm in. They have Delver. Okay. Delver is the one that I can ignore for the longest, I hope. I don't think I'm going to need to brainstorm this turn. And I do have Plow if they show me something I'm worried about, but Endurance can just eat Delver without too much gain in between. Delver just does damage. And for one, Delver didn't flip. That one does more than damage, though. I think I want to brainstorm in the end step. Probably get rid of this Force of Will. Set myself up with a Tropical Island here. Brainstorm. If they fetch in response to this, I'll fetch out in response. They didn't do that, though. Force of Will's out. And I mean, Force of Will's really good, but look at this handful of removal. That's good shit. I'm just going to leave. Do I need this many removal spells? Can you have too many removal spells against Delver, I guess, is the, the real question. I'm thinking really hard I, if I'm going to shuffle away this Prismatic Ending or not. Like, would I rather have Ponder than Prismatic Ending, or do I just keep both? I think I untap and draw the, the Prismatic Ending. Okay, I draw Ending, play my land, then... I can ponder now. Yeah, ponder. Or I'm gonna fetch first and then ponder. I know that I don't want that force of will. I'm gonna get Savannah because that's double green for endurance. 
and then ponder with the tropical island. I want to make sure my lands are set up. Okay, and lands are set up for a while here. Then prismatic ending the Del no prismatic ending the DRC. Kind of want to save Gutshot for a dashed Ragavan. Like I can endurance. Yeah, like Delver is the one that represents just damage. Like I, I've said that a few times, but it remains true. This is just life points. And I have a lot of them. I have three answers to Delver in my hand. One of them is a two for one or better. And I'd like to keep my swords from Merktides. And Gutshot can take out dashed Ragavan in tight spots. A little concerned about finding a wasteland here, but I do have the fourth land ready. And there's a ponder coming on top of my deck. I found Misty Rainforest, that's a relief. Now the game will be about when I'm supposed to cast this Veil of Summer. Hopefully they like ponder in their first main, and then I can Veil and know if Endurance is going to resolve or not. And I still get the cantrip. They should just turn their creature sideways. Dash Ragavan, okay. There's that, okay. Now I get to Gutshot Ragavan, and if they try to fight over it, I can Veil of Summer, and then still Endurance when the dust settles. Gutshot that. They didn't force it. Okay. Um, I'll just go for the Endurance. I really think I can squeeze some money out of this Veil of Summer. Murky Rage. All right. I did just play into Daze, but that was not super avoidable. I'm going to get Bayou here. Von Veil. All right, they have stuff. They have something. It's Brainstorm. It's Brainstorm in prey mode. Please miss. Please miss. Please miss. Oh, hell yeah. Veil just resolved. Endurance is in. Tuck their graveyard. Eat their Delver. I have a third answer to Murktide now. Swing for the fences there. They probably don't have all their dazes in the deck. Game two on the draw like this. So I'm going to... I'll play like they don't have it. I have two answers to Ragavan here, so I'm going to start attacking. I have three, but I can only cast two of them. ERC, that can resolve. They might get a few triggers off it, but I am ultimately okay with that situation. A Hydroblast, this in the end step. I can run afoul the Delver if it flips, and plow it if it doesn't. Okay. Deal. They kept their card on top. Now I'm interested in Swords to Plowshares, I think. Or do I just hold back Endurance and be patient? I'm going to plow the Delver, actually. Because the DRC they have to be careful with, or else it just has to ram into Endurance. There's no combat here. Go. Two card types in the graveyard. They kept their card on top with their Surveil. Three card types in the graveyard. If they fetch, they lose their DRC. They have to like, manipulate their graveyard. If they're setting up a Murktide Regent, then they can get Delirium and then quickly eat it so they don't lose their creature. They did not shuffle. And I can't quite Mystic Sanctuary here. Another Delver, okay. That's also a creature that can attack. Elful Strix, fuck yeah. Okay, uh, blue, black, Elful Strix. They'll have to red blast this if they don't want to get buried by the advantage it provides. Wasteland. Uh, Wasteland makes them attack with DRC next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to hit it. Like, go ahead. Have Delirium. Like, there might be some value in waiting where it's like, uh, maybe they don't see that I can make them Delirious and I can make them attack at the beginning of combat before they can eat it with Murktide. But right now, let's just force the action. Delver revealed Brainstorm. So they have two cards in hand. One of them's Brainstorm. And they have to fight. I'm going to block the Channeler right now while the getting's good. I guess they don't have Murktide or they would have played it. Lightning Bolt, my Endurance. You got it. It's a two for one all day, every day. And the Dragon Drage Channeler has flying, unfortunately. So I'm going to... Oh. Bluster Storm counters this right now, so I'll just wait. There's Endurance in my deck, Baleful Strix. What's the rush? Brainstorm is a good card. I'd love to find a Strix or similar here. Force of Will, doesn't matter. Run a Foul, I think Plow is just a better card. 
and then command can regrow wasteland and drain them i guess i'm gonna cast this plow get rid of that and do i want to regrow wasteland and just drain them for two no i, I think i can do better all right i think i may have missequenced that turn a little bit like i pr should probably just have run a foul in my hand but it's okay brainstorm from them if they Merc Tide this turn, they need to go land Merc Tide and then they're Hellbent for my Plow or the Run Afoul on top of the deck. Okay, I can just kill that thing, I guess. They're exiling my Wasteland with that. Yeah, that's fine. Probably correctly identified that I'm a Loam deck. Do I want Run Afoul or do I want to shuffle this? I'm going to take the Run Afoul. Just focusing on not dying here. Okay, I'm going to Wither Bloom Command. Targeting myself with Mill and their Soul Guide Lantern and make black, green. Like they're probably going to exile my graveyard in response. Then I can fetch with Misty Rainforest, which guarantees a land in the graveyard. I'm going to mill also, but this at least locks in the profits. And I think I want Tundra here that casts both the spells in my hand. Mill three, get back. Mystic Sanctuary. Invest in my future. I do have three islands. Mystic Sanctuary, Buyback, Witherbloom Command. Let's do that. That's both of my endurances accounted for now, so I have to be careful of decking. There's Mirko. I'm drawing Witherbloom, which doesn't do anything yet. I'm going to run a foul in their upkeep. Not that it matters when I do this, as long as it's before they draw a card. Just let them untap, give them some fake hope. They fetched. I'll let the fetch land resolve in case that provides any information. I don't think it can't imagine that it would. Stack a flying creature. See you later. Dragon's Ray Channeler. Uh, that's a good one. Okay, I need an Uro, like ASAP. I need to start pulling ahead here. Steam vents entered the exile zone. Shocked it in. Is it another Mirko? It's Rag. Okay. Allow that. They're hellbent. I'm now out of answers to a next Merc Tide. I'm not a huge fan of. I will waste one of their lands. Start trying to squeeze. If I draw a Loam, just getting them in the squeeze right now is actually pretty solid. Command really isn't great right now. Um, I'm going to drain with Merc Tide, or drain with Witherbloom Command, and pick up Wasteland here continue constricting their options like they already have delirium that doesn't answer any other things ragavan's gonna have haste yeah, that's a three three all right deck need some help yeah brainstorm if one card in hand please don't re be red blast oh fuck yeah that's what we signed up for we put those two back and then black blue strix drc has to attack I could just end it. Yeah, I actually want to end it because, like, Red Blast, Lightning Bolt, whatever, kills my Strix, gets them in for three. Or I could just leave it in play to deal with the next Merc Tide or post up against the next Ragavan. And ending doesn't answer the other threats in their deck. Like, DRC is the target for that card. I have seven mana in play, so Uro can arrive and immediately re arrive as soon as I find him. All right, not anymore. Found a wasteland. I'm going to fetch, though. Make sure I get... So I have blue, green, 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 and blue, blue, blue. I think I just want another trop here. Come on, Uro. Yuck. No attacks past the turn. This is where it starts to get worrisome. Yep, there's Mark Tide. Need Uro pretty bad here. Or Swords of Plowshares. Or Teferi. Okay, Brainstorm, bring me home, buddy. Okay, there's Uro. Happy to see that. Put back. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. I can put back these two lands. That shuffle away. I don't want to give them priority to Surgical Extraction in between the Uros, which is why I'm fetching now. Blue. 
All right, I have to make sure I have three green and three blue. Green, green, green. All right, green, 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 blue, blue, blue. All right, and tropical island. This covers all the bases, right? I have a lot of green and blue already, though. I'll get tundra. So blue, colorless, green. Uh, do the draw card trigger first. Backup arrow is sick. And then immediately green, green, blue, blue. Exile, carpet, delta, flooded strand, their bloom command, misty. And I don't think it matters much what I exile here. Right, yeah, I left the wasteland there for the loam. That was the important one. Okay, so they have to beat Strix and then also race Uro at this point. Second Murktide would be... Oh, that's they don't have any spells in the graveyard, so second Murktide barely matters. Okay, so the race is on. That's the plan. Got it. And draw. Okay, easy money now. I'm going to cast Loam, targeting the Wasteland. Then I'm going to Wasteland their untapped red right now. And I can attack. Oh, I did that backwards. I was supposed to attack, put in Wasteland. Damn it. All right. Probably doesn't matter. I'm not going to dredge loam here. I'm not going to play that land. I would, My plan going into this turn that I just clicked through like a dingus was attack, use the Uro land to put Wasteland into play. And, oh, wait, no, I would have had to... Does this work? So I cast Loam, targeting Wasteland. I attack, replace the Loam Dredge with the draw, put in Wasteland off of Uro Trigger. Then second main, I cast Wasteland, or cast Loam on Wasteland. Yeah, that does work how I wanted it to. I'm almost more worried about decking at this point, though, so I'm just going to attack with my creature. My Endurances are all accounted for, so I should be really careful. Just make sure I get my damage across the board before I'm out of cards. Ponder. Strix, yep. I'm not dredging loam. I'm never dredging loam. Blue black Strix gets me Wither Bloom. And they're actually dead on board because I can attack for seven and then drain them with Wither Bloom. They're out of fetchables. So Wasteland actually would have ended the game and pretty safely. But so does them only have one land left. Well guide lantern, yeah, I don't care about that. Exiled my Wasteland instead of my Loam. That's might be smart. Does that matter? And I guess they want me to dredge Loam, because decking me is their only win con here. I exiled my Graveyard. Okay. They don't even want to give me the option to Loam poorly. Put you to one. I guess I can put lands into play at this point. And black, blue. If I can protect my command, I'm going to. Are they just forced to zero? Got it. Oh, yeah, they were at one. I didn't need to protect my command. Got it. Okay. Just got to watch the clock. I have seven and a half minutes to win game three. That's that's kind of shitty. A Veil of Summer was, in fact, a blowout. I'm going back in with the same deck. It's going to have to play faster. That may affect commentary. I'm going to mulligan this hand with no interaction. I'm going to keep this one with three removal spells. I'm actually going to send... Ponder in a traitorous move. Like I think that I'll get a Ponder's worth of cards if I just cast these removal spells in a way that makes sense. All right, let's see if they have left in their phases or brought them in. I need Tundra here because that's the one that casts Ending and Strix. All right, Ragavan's out. Do they have a dash? What's going on here? They have DRC, okay. And... Expect a second creature here. Ponder. Okay, sure. Oh, they milled a wasteland. They don't want that. That's interesting. Because I'm scared of that. They did not shuffle the library. I'm going to fetch Bayou and cast Baleful Strix with it. Uh, blue, black. Could have played around Dace here with the plow. Maybe I should have. Fuck. Yeah, punished immediately. Fast and loose, I guess. Yeah, if I just plow here, play fetch land... Plow and then Strix around days. I could have played this whole game around days. I'm just getting kind of shook by the clock. Gotta relax. This is Eternal Weekend. Tighten up. A 
Ponder. Did not shuffle. They have Volcanic Island. Not a Wasteland. I'm happy for that. All right, Soul Guide Lantern. They can pop this immediately to get Delirium. I think that's pretty early and hasn't done anything. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're just in aggro mode. Uh, Wither Bloom Command. That's not really what I'm looking for here. I'm going to plow. Time to play around days. We can Wither Bloom next turn. I really wanted to Endurance there. Uh, get ahead of the Merc Tide, but I do have the plow. They have the Merc. I can. Hit them with Savannah. Savannah, Plow. They force their Hellbent. They didn't force. That's good. Uh, I can mill me for three. You take two. Black, green, Wither Bloom Command. This will hit the land drop, which lets me play Strix. Get Underground C. Blue, black. Strix is in. And pass. A ponder from them. I'm just F6ing at this point. I'm not really bluffing anything. Like, here you go. I'm not going to force your ponder. Let's go. They did not shuffle ponder. What am I worried about here? Like, land, bolt, dash, ragavan. It's kind of scary. They have two cards left. Pyroblast. And, all right, they have exactly the thing I said. Okay. Hopefully this isn't too bad, because I can get endurance into play this turn. Birds of Plowshares. All right, don't care. It's fine. Their last card in hand right now is Ragavan. And I have multiple Endurances that I'm just going to cast right now. The first one lets me play around Murktide Regent. The second one lets me eat their Ragavan. All right, got to get this game over. Hopefully they just think I'm playing fast because I'm trying not to lose. Ooh, iteration is scary. I have an answer to Merc Tide right now, though. Answer to Flip Delver. Answer to a Delirious. Other fella. So iteration into iteration. They're going off. Brainstorm. They're brainstorming right now. I'm going to let Brainstorm resolve. Maybe I shouldn't, but I did. Because I want to tuck as much of their graveyard as I can. They're fetching. Casting Delver. Okay. Three cards left over there. Endurance in the end step. Did they keep Force Blue card around? They did not. I'm going to tuck that immediately. On deck. Spells. Spells. Not a spell. All right, I can attack with one Endurance. That gives me insulation against the Ragavan and the Delver. Delver didn't flip. Okay. Three Delver. DRC. Oh, his Ragavan coming down too. You got the whole squad. Good thing Endurance is thick. Prismatic ending, nice. I'm going to end DRC. That one does the most on its own. One Endurance gets in, because the other can stop both Delvers. Ponder revealed. Delvers are flipped. Ponder. Dash Ragavan. Okay, so they're just shoving in damage right now. I'm going to block Ragavan. That's the scariest one. And I can run a foul before damage. They have one card in their hand. They could second main Merktide here as a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, Express Reiteration, last card. Not that that's, like, exciting news for me. That's a really good last card to have. That'll land and past. Come on, spells. That's a fucking spell. All right. Blue. Green. Colorless. I guess I should have tapped the C because I have another one in hand. All right, put C into play. Or just not bluffing anything anymore. Ending your thing. You have one card in hand. It was the best card of the three cards they just saw. But I'm trying to get this game over. Those are all the fetchable lands in their deck. That Misty Rainforest I don't think is going to have a target. Ragavan shit. Okay. Please don't hit anything fucked up. Of course will. Alright, don't care. ERC. They're going to have to chump lock. Okay. I believe we've won this game. Four minutes is plenty of time to make this happen. Brainstorm's a good one. I'm going to burrow first. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. It doesn't really matter what I exile here. I guess I could, like, try to play around Surgical Extraction or some shit, but all of that's pretty minimal when I'm just daring down right now. Yeah, the Caracas will check the Ragavan even if they do draw an answer to Uro. 
I'm saving the brainstorm. Like, I could have tried to brainstorm into a prismatic ending and just win right now, but I don't think I need to do that. <laughs> Opponent said in the chat, Terminus off the top one time. That would be a beating that I was not ready for. A great match. Took down the default deck of the format. That was the first one that was uh, scary. This is the first opponent who took a game off me, in fact. But we are 4-0. and Let's uh, keep it rolling. I'm on the draw in round 5 against Neville Shoot, who is a known Doomsday player. I have Force but no blue card, a dead prismatic ending. Witherbloom Command can jack them up, like mill their D-Day pile, but this is a mulligan with the information that I have. This isn't much better, but I am going to keep the hand with Brainstorm in it. If they do just writ Doomsday here, like Wasteland could slow them down or mess them up a little. Buy me a little time. All right, Thoughtseize. That's going to strip Brainstorm, and then we're just in garbage time. I'm going to have to Wasteland and hope that's good. They don't play a whole lot of lands in this deck. Oh, okay. They just have Ritual right now. Okay, uh, Thoughtseize into turn one Doomsday is a strong start. No doubt about it. They do have to respect the Wasteland a little bit. So hopefully I'll see two more cards this game, unless their last cards in hand are Lotus Petal Brainstorm. Then I just lose. Let's see what we got here. In the Exile Pile, there's one, two Underground Seas. There's one in play. Considers gone. Three Lotus Petals. Or all the Lotus Petals and LED are gone. I imagine their pile is Fetchland, Fetchland, or Fetchland, Underground Sea, Cavern, probably in the main deck. I'm going to waste them. It's the only thing I can do here. And just hope that I find a Force of Will off this next draw. Or I think a second Wasteland is actually better than Force of Will. So Fetchland, Underground Sea. There's a Cavern in the pile somewhere. All their Lotus Petals are in exile. So I got to draw, like, Force of Will right now. Or another Wasteland. On Wasteland. Oh, the saddest. Give me one more turn. Give me one more turn. There's no reason to do it, but please give me one more turn. If I don't Wasteland, maybe I win. And I lose to Daze or any counter magic or any disruption of any kind. Bam. All right, yeah. On the draw against Doomsday, where they had Thoughtseize into turn one Doomsday. Rough position to be in. The good news is they didn't see the dress down. They didn't see anything that's not in Loam Bant. So I get to at least pretend I'm not doing exactly what I'm doing for a little while. I'm bringing in these eight cards. I have seven removal spells that just need to get out of the deck. And Light from the Loam isn't the worst. Like, I think Baleful Strix is actually worse than Loam, because if I can catch them in a compromised position with a Loam Wasteland situation, or if the game goes long at all, I can uh, loam to make sure I never get dazed. I think these removal spells and Strix just come out in favor of these things. Gutshot's kind of funny. Like, there's a world where they, like, dooms fetch, thoughtsies, doomsday, deep analysis, and they're at one. <laughs> they wouldn't be expecting reach, but I'm not going to actually do that. This is the deck I'm presenting. Okay, Force, Ponder. Yeah, this hand actually does things. It's better than the last one. Could have gone to five last game, but I do think... Like, the Brainstorm on six is good. They just had Thoughtseize. I'm not going to feel bad about that. You can't make me. I'm just going to Underground C go here. Because if I end up forcing, I don't want the Force to get dazed. If they Thoughtseize me... I can hide stuff, hide the force, or let them take force and just let them think about brainstorm. They brainstorm and chose to shuffle. I'm going to brainstorm. I'm not going to play my land first. If they want to spend a daze here, they're welcome to it. Let's see what we got. Um, I don't want Witherbloom Command right away. And I don't think I want Savannah right away either. I'm going to just ask right now. I have double force, and I, I'd rather hold up protection from days than get a ponder's worth of value right now. The worst thing is just you know dying all in one shot when you could have prevented it. They brainstorm, then they fetched. Can't ponder. Okay. This is a cantrip game. 
Those are the ones that I like better than the other kind. I'm going to fetch Tundra in the end step here. A blue land and a white land. I don't want to play this game on one blue source, and I might need white eventually. Blue, black, for Strix. Maybe Strix is better as force fodder, and I should have pondered there. But Strix can attack for damage, which is not irrelevant against the deck that's going to 10 itself at some point. Strix's version confirmed. Okay. Uh, my fight's on the back end of the Doomsday, not the front end. So if they just, like, cycle four Street Wraiths into Cavern... No, they played the Volcanic Island this turn. And they're clearly representing Pyroblast right now. Time for Ponder to do some work. I'd like a different type of interaction than counter spells, like an Endurance or a Dress Down. Your deck, help me out. Face the Mind Sculptor. Not really what we're looking for. It is a blue card, though. I can Ponder. Other Sworn Cannonist is good. Uh, no, Baleful Strix is not good. Shuffle this. Force of Negation. Okay, I can force three times this turn, which doesn't beat a Cavern of Souls. Oh, Sheldock, you're doing this. Okay, um, so I have a... I have Caracas in my hand that can fuck up Emrakul, unless they have Oracle with Emrakul and just do both. I would not like that. I don't know what's on top of my deck. I shuffled the Ponder. Yeah, I drew Force Indigation Wild, I think. That is my memory of things. I hope that's true. A land. And I'm going to play the Caracas. But if they do just go land Oracle this turn, I'm fucked. But whatever, here's Caracas. Okay. Please don't have made a double pile. They have, they have Emrakul beat, but Time Walk is still really good. They're passing the turn. Okay. Or they went to second main. Come on, pass the turn. Give me a draw step. All I want in life is a draw step. I don't have enough islands to... Okay, Veil of Summer. Is that good? I don't know. Probably not. I could Uro here just for a redraw. I could Jace and then Veil of Summer and take a spin or Veil of Summer then Jace. Oh, I don't like this at all. I only have one Force of Will for the the Oracle. It's the, the Veil is a redraw. Uro is also a redraw. Do I need to Uro now? I think I do. Yeah, so blue... Green, colorless. I'm going to Uro now. Let's try to find a redraw here. Not great, but I'm in basically the same position as I was. Oh, that's not true. I can, I can Mystic Sanctuary now, if it's not too late. They're just going to time walk me and then cast Oracle next turn. Or this turn, I don't know. Okay. Your turn now. Bounce this. There's Cavern, and the Oracle's also going to be in the pile. I basically have to Veil of Summer into Dress Down. And I guess I should fetch first if that's the plan. So fetch. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I could also, uh, no, because Veil is my green card. I can't Veil into Endurance. Oh, uh, that might have been an argument to keep Uro around, but seeing the extra card is another look at Dress Down. Surgical Extraction doesn't matter. I'm just checking my deck to see if there's any color I need to fetch here, or if any blue source is good. Okay, uh, blue source. All right, here we go. Veil of Summer into Dress Down. Show me the money. I think we're going to have a fight over Veil. Ah! What a tease. All right, we're dead. The Endurance wasn't even good. They had one card in their graveyard. Yeah, that was a really good pile. It... Forced me to respect Emrakul, also had the Oracle. Just complete disrespect for the forces. Yeah, that that's... I feel like I messed this game up. If I'm sitting here with three forces in hand and dead against a combo deck, I missed the fight somewhere. I didn't have all these forces at the time they went for Doomsday. Like, maybe I'm supposed to put one on the Doomsday and then see what's left over afterwards. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, tough matchup. 
we have the tools, but they made the right pile. I'm on the play in round six. My opponent's name doesn't have any results when I Google it. So I'm going to keep this very fair hand and hope that they're a fair deck. I am kind of in love with this hand against like Delver or any fair blue deck. It's pretty heinous against combo. My opponent's a fan of the channel and they said, asked if I was recording and said, can't wait to misplay. So let's hope that's true. Okay, um, Burn seems to be the name of the game here. Burrow is on top of my deck. I already have one of those and don't want another. Shuffling this away is going to tell them pretty clearly that I have Uro, though. The bad news is that I have no basic lands in this deck at all. Not a one. I'm going to go in with Strix. Try to keep this Goblin Guy damage to two. I'm in the market for Force of Will, because that will eventually be required to beat the price of progress. Chain Lightning, okay. So they spent three damage to get two damage through. I'm okay with that exchange. Brainstorm's on top of the deck. I can brainstorm here or I can just get to work with Uro. And I think get to work with Uro is the play. I'm going to fetch for Tundra. Unless I draw a spell I can cast, I'm going to put Wasteland in. That's a, uh, it's ugly, but it's a, a way to play around Price of Progress at least a little bit. Okay, I have Force of Will now. I'm actually going to ponder. Fetch. I have green, green. Make sure I have blue, blue, green, green here. I'll get another tropical island. Uh, it, we're just racing to Uro at this point. Bolting me in response. That's fine. I'm going to put the plow in my hand. They're going to attack and give me the underground sea. And next turn, I can escape Uro while holding up plow and force of will. And the Uro trigger can put wasteland into play, which also mitigates price of progress a little bit. This goblin has done work, though. Eidolon of the Great Revel. Uh, yeah, that's not the counterspell target. And they suspended Rift Bolt. Okay. Two cards left in their hand. Green, green, blue, blue. Cast Uro. I take two from the Eidolon, gain three from the Uro. That's plus one net, and it bricks their creatures forever. Putting in Wasteland. Doubling up the ways I have to mitigate price of progress damage. See if Rift Bolt's coming upstairs, or are they going to try to work through Uro? Right upstairs, there go. Three cards in hand. I can also plow my Uro if I need a burst of four life, because I'll take two off the Eidolon. But they'll attack for that same four damage. Alright, they played a land and passed with one card in hand. So I'm not actually losing here. I'm going to attack with Uro to start, then I'll probably plow Eidolon and get to work with the rest of my spells here. Plow Eidolon, get rid of that, and then the Witherbloom command does have a drain mode. I could go to 12 here. I don't think I want to do that, though. I think I want to cast Brainstorm. I'm holding on to Force Will. Now I have Force Negation to go with it. I don't think I need two Wither Blooms. Do I even need one Wither Bloom? Wither Bloom gaining life is pretty exciting. I'll put Misty and Wither Bloom on top, and I can decide if I want to draw that next turn. Oh, I stacked that wrong. There's a Goblin Guide in play. Duh. Yeah, go to seven here. Yeah, I just stacked my Brainstorm backwards. I'm going to fetch to avoid the shame. Do I want to fetch? Am I? What am I doing with my spells here? It's fine. I'm not going to fetch to avoid shame. That's that's stupid. Don't cascade mistakes by being too proud. I'm going to cast Endurance and block their creature, though. They have double force, and they have two cards in their hand, so I'm not too worried about that. Block. Attack for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I gain a life along the way. Oh, I can... Do I have enough black mana to win now? So... Black, green, wither bloom. Uh, I'll mill three and pick up a land and go upstairs on them for two. And then I can fetch Mystic Sanctuary, rebuy this attack. I'll pick up this tundra, I suppose, and fetch Mystic Sanctuary. Put back wither, 
No, I'll put Swords to Plowshares on top. That'll just make sure I never lose. Being able to gain another 6 here. Tundra's in play. They are dead on board. Okay, and I have two forces to their three cards in hand, including the straw step. And I can gain six at instant speed. Okay, looks like Uro just carried against the burn deck. <laughs> three mountains in hand. Rough. Okay. Things that are good and things that are bad include I want the the Wither Bloom. Just that gaining two life is nice. Force of negation, hydroblast, all those things help me not die to their various spells, most importantly being Price of Progress. I don't think Dress Down is important. It can let me shortcut in Uro, like the Dress Down and then Uro's just in play as a 6-6, six, six, but Baleful Strix can block. And like turning off Eidolon for a turn when I could just answer or counter Eidolon, I'd rather do that. Veil doesn't matter, Seeds doesn't matter, they don't have Islands. I'm not bringing in Surgical, I'm not bringing in Plague Engineer. Narset or Jace are interesting, just like, the way I can lose this is I get behind a little bit, or like, I stabilize at 5 or whatever, but I'm not gaining card advantage. There's a little bit of concern there. I don't think I'm going to bring more of this in, but I am going to leave in the Jace that I already have. If I'm doing that, what's the cut? I do want all my removal. Is this a loam matchup? Do I want loam? Because my three Witherbloom commands do a pretty good loam impression. All right, loam's out. The rest of this stuff is in. All right, let's do it. You just gotta be a row. Be an Uro deck. Swords to Plowshares and Force of Will. I'm gonna keep this, actually. I have Endurance. That's a nice body to put into play. And I have the mana to cast it. They mold to five. That's basically me gaining six life right away. And Lava Spike. That's not Goblin Guide. I'm in. Sign me up. I think I want to play the Caracas. No, that's not true. I want to get my color stable. Roiling Vortex. This is players can't gain life. When they someone casts a free spell, they take five. And people take one every upkeep. No, this is a force target. If I had Prismatic Ending, that would make things easier on that, but I don't. And I would take 5 off this Force of Will if I cast it in any future situation. Not ideal. Next turn, I can Endurance and put a body into play. Swifty, okay. I'm just going to plow this. And I'm going to do it off of Savannah. Because that's the green source I need for Endurance. I could take one way to turn, eat this with Endurance, and save plow to gain 3 in case of emergencies. Not sure that's better, though. We're down to one card in hand. Okay, I drew a green source. That's nice. I don't have to fetch another one. Pop's good for six here, but my life total is pretty thick. In Lightning. Uh, I don't play enough red sources to send that back, and by enough, I mean any. Pretty sure I should fetch here. They could pop me while I'm tapped out, but I do want this body available. There's Endurance just in play. I'm going to target nobody. I'm not sure if they use their graveyard, but... Okay, deck. I have enough of this sort of stuff now. I, I need to get to work. I'm more worried about them drawing enough spells to kill me than I am worried about a haste creature right now. I can currently fluster Price of Progress. <laughs> There's the haste creature that I wasn't worried about. It's not that I wasn't worried about it. It's just that in like they clearly didn't have it in their hand last turn. Okay, Force of Will, which I can cast. I'm just going to hide behind Endurance now. I can hard cast Force. Pop is super lethal at this point. I'm going to fetch in the end step. It's going to get Tundra into play. Yeah, I was ready for this one. I wanted to fetch now because they could dance around my fetch lands with powerful spells on future turns and just getting Force of Will. In the chamber here is a nice one. And I, I definitely need an island. And Tundra looks like a good one. I'm not going to fetch the last land. Okay, Sword Supply Share is very good. I'm dead to pop anyway, so I'm just going to commit lands to the board. And I can Sword Supply Shares and Force of Will this turn. I should fetch now if I'm going to do that, though. Uh, that's not true. 
I, I just don't have to act first is the, the difference. I want to let Goblin Guide attack, get a chance at a, a draw. Prismatic Ending is the top card on my deck. Do I want to take two and cast Ending, keep the plow around? I think I do. This plow has extra text of gaining life. Ending the Goblin. I'm at six. I could definitely die. Two cards in hand out of a burn deck usually represent six damage. Oh, I should have endurance them. I forgot about uh, Exquisite Firecraft. Fire Blast, target me. Uh, I think I want to plow endurance here and let this resolve. I can't get Firecrafted right now. I have the force for the next thing. Ugh, that's enough Fetchlands deck. I'm in some trouble. I need Uro. And Uro immediately stabilizes this game. But anything else is not so great. Ooh, there's there's the guy. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to play my other land and then cast Uro. White, green, blue. I'm holding up Force of Will right now. They have one card in their hand. I'm not going to escape Uro this turn. Oh, now I have Force back up. I probably do want to escape Uro this turn. Yeah, they have one card in their hand. Let's go. Tropical Island. They have green, green, blue. I'm going to get Mystic Sanctuary and put Swords to Plowshares on top of the deck, I think. Plow on top. Escape Uro. Here's Uro. I'm at 9. I have Force back up and can plow myself to 15. All right, I, I'm feeling okay here. I think we're over the hump. Yep, that's not the one that's going to win the game. Uro can just smash fearlessly into this Goblin Guide because it gains more life than Guide deals. There's no reason to hold back at all. Yeah, let's just keep making land drops. I'm already dead to pop. They did take the block. Blue, black. I'm going to cast the Strix. I can hard cast Force. The extra card, the extra blocker, all of that's good to me right now. I'm going to hold on to Brainstorm and see if I need it. Hard cast Rift Bolt resolves. The Uro attack will just undo that. I don't need to do anything about it. Now I can brainstorm. Or no, I don't need to brainstorm now. I can just be patient. Uro's about to draw a card. I'm going to get a draw step. In we go. Up to 12. Not putting this land into play. That's what brainstorm is for. Brainstorm. Let's clean this hand up. Don't need this land. Don't need this bonus Uro. I guess I'll stack them the other way. I was going to say in case Goblin Guide attacks, but I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to shuffle. I, I think I want to ponder again. Ponder. Another piece of disruption would make me feel a lot better here. All right. Hydroblast is about the top of the list. Now we can force Hydroblast and Plow Uro if necessary against their two-card hand from 11 life. I can even brainstorm, fetch, re-brainstorm in the middle if I feel like any of that is necessary. All right, they went hellbent to do this. Not even going to counter it. GG's opponent. We have to trust in the Lord and Savior, Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. On to the next round. It's a five and one. I'm on the play in round seven, and my opponent has a ton of vintage finishes, but nothing legacy on MTG Goldfish. So I don't have information to work off of. I think I want to keep this hand with two swords to plowshares and my mana set up and just hope they're a fair deck like if they are delver having four lands and two removal spells is fine i could just get dumpstered by doomsday here but fair decks are much more common in the metagame right now uh oh if it's lands my hand is very good at not dying to merit lage my hand's not good at anything else all right this is lands and loaming immediately okay the third plow is not what I was looking for. But this one is gonna take a while. They milled over a Valakut Exploration. Ghost Quarter is terrifying. Hitting Needle. Okay, well. I have to fetch in response to these. I think I want to get Trop and Tundra. I'll get Underground Sea. Because Wither, Wither Bloom is actually a really good draw. That's kind of annoying. Forcing some action on the fetch lands. Now they can, like, loam up Wasteland and get to work. An Impolluted Delta. That's lucky. I have Flooded Strain in my hand, but only the one Delta. Ah, oh, sick. 
That was a really good draw. I am just gonna mess up their loam right now. Get it out. I was about to start dying to loam ghost quarter. But now I don't have to. At least not right away. Full Strix. Black, blue, and flooded strand. I'm gonna make my attack. Maybe they'll forget about Maze of Ith. Maybe the clock will come up in game three. We'll see. This is Eternal Weekend. I will play to every out. I promise. Schadenport. Taking out my black. That's fine. Ponder. Cantrips are really good here. Oh, sick. Yeah. Brainstorm and Jace are exactly what I want in my life. I'll put the Brainstorm on top because the Jace I am extremely interested in. And in case for some reason I have to shuffle my deck this turn, I want to make sure Jace is still around. E fire confirmed. Okay. Punishing Fire is rough on the Jace. But that's okay. This brainstorm on top will do a lot of work. I'm going to attack and see if they want to, like, crop rotate into Dark Depths. It doesn't look like it. All right. uh, I gave them that Rashad and Port, but I'm going to brainstorm here anyway. Put back a couple of these plows. I don't need all of them. And Trop, Fetch. I'm going to get Tundra here and Jam the Jace. And Jace is under some trouble from Punishing Fire, so I am going to plus it right away. Play from the Loam. I'm putting that on the bottom. Don't have a good answer to that one right now. And with the Swords to Plowshares, I don't have to counter a crop rotation here, which is good, because I want to keep my Uro. Field of the Dead, that sucks. I need a Wasteland Pronto. A draw for turn. I'm going to Brainstorm now. I have the... The loyalty to make that happen. Force of Will, Caracas. None of these are great. Um, I'm going to put back Bayou and Redundant Force, I guess. I'm going to fetch for Mystic Sanctuary. Rebuy this Ponder. Play Strix. And I'm going to Ponder. Force of Will, that's not what I want. Duffle. None of this is really what I was looking for. Back with my endurance. Got me. The Uro is a little awkward because it lets them it lets them buy back punishing fire because I gain life here. Oh, it looks like they're not gonna respond to the trigger though. Maybe they are. Does this matter? Do they have the red to do it anyway? Okay, they do know about it. And they're attacking Jace. Ugh. Force Negation and Wasteland were the, the looks there. Couldn't come up with either. They can fire in the end step, rebuy fire. Yeah, they can clear Jace this turn. They have to do it on their own turn, though. Ghost Quarters finally arrived. Yeah, regrettably, I don't have a blue card to go with this force. I probably would keep Jace around for a turn. So staying alive from the permanent threat of crop rotation into Dark Depths is relevant. Prismatic ending. Blue. Green. Blue. I'm leaving Jace in the graveyard because I may endurance it back into my deck at some point if this match goes super long. Witherbloom command is pretty dope here. I should have exiled that Mox Diamond before I made my play here, but it's all right. Gonna attack now. Gotta remember Rashad and Port. I keep giving them opportunities to take me off colors, which I don't need to be doing. Then black, green. I actually don't want a Wither Bloom because that can be like functional life from the at some point. I'm just gonna exile their prismatic or their Mox Diamond right now. Copied Field of the Dead. That's scary. Every land is good for two zombies now. Uro and Endurance still rumble through that. There's Dark Depths, so the threat of Merit Lage is on board now. But I have Caracas, but they have Ghost Quarter. Yeah, it's a dance. We're dancing. Press Down is pretty good, though. I can remove Flying and other relevant words from Merit Lage. So all my removal right now is Exile-based anyway. I'm not going to keep making land drops. At some point, I'll draw Brainstorm. Yeah, blocking with three zombies is really smart. And they're firing my Strix, also fine. I guess I just passed the turn here. 
I could wither bloom, but actually I'm gonna run out the trap. Hardcasting force will plus all the other spells is relevant. Burrow's still getting to work here. The clock is my biggest concern. Wasteland, sweet relief. Okay. Wonder how this is gonna play out. We attack with Uro. If they maze of Ith, then it doesn't uh the zombies can't beat it. It just bought back their fire. Okay, I'm gonna trade with three zombies here, and still in combat, I'm gonna wasteland Field of the Dead, the original one. Because I'm gonna light from the loam and then bring back Uro, and I can refire the wasteland the same turn. They have another stage over there. Jeez. All right. <laughs> three Field of the Deads is tough to beat, but I think I can start working through it here. Messed up all their things. Life from the loam, target wasteland. Blue. Green. Arrow. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. Leaving Jace and Loam in the graveyard. Here's Arrow again. They don't have red mana to fire me in response. Put in wasteland. I'm going to waste the tapped Field of the Dead Thespian stage right now while it's still tapped. They can't copy a basic in response. I guess there are no basics in play. They can't copy Dark Depths in response. Just go for something different. And I'll pass the turn here. Two Field of the Dead's down. Trying my main deck for some negation would be pretty nice for the inevitable Life from the Loam. Fuck. <laughs> well, there's that. Um, I think I want to Force of Will this and give myself a chance to get ahead of it. Force Pitching Dress Down gives me a turn to draw. Force of Negation. Get a couple looks at it. And I can waste this Field of the Dead, this last one off, or I could take them off the maze. Okay, their last card in hand right now is the Punishing Fire. Guess the question is, where is the fight? Oh yeah, well, that's a good wasteland. Um, I'm going to put that in with my Uro trigger. Save my actual land drop for later. I am going to Dredge Loam off of this. Is that true? No, I don't think so, because I have the... I put in Wasteland here. They can maze me. Okay, they're going to use Punishing Fire to finish off Uro, but I have Caracas in play. I'm going to waste the Field of the Dead right now. Their creatures are dead. Time to dig for that Force of Negation. And I still have my actual land drop. Uh, do I care about this? It's in the graveyard, that's fine. Clusterstorm Force, Baleful Strix. Does Force of Will do anything? Buys me a turn. So don't shuffle this. Uh, don't dredge loam. Wither Bloom Command. I'm going to mill myself and exile Mox Diamond. Black, green. They're currently hellbent. Get back Wasteland, which I still have my land drop for the turn. And Ass. I'm going to Force of Will them. They're probably going to Dredge Loam here. I Force of Will Loam. That buys me another turn to try to get ahead of the Loam with Endurance or Force of Negation. Force of Will. I'll go to my turn. I am I get two lands a turn here. Maybe I just Loam and bury them with Wasteland. A Waste you. Waste your Grove. Can I take them off green this turn? I think I can, right? Yeah, I can take them all the way off green this turn. They rebuy the fire. Waste. Life from the loam. Target my two wastelands and the fetch land. Oh, look at me. Who's the loam deck now? Wasteland. The taiga. Bring back Uro. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. It's Uro. Not going to dredge loam here. Put in wasteland. Waste their grove. Get a ponder. Endurance, hell yeah. I do not dredge loam. I worked hard for that card. Okay. Feel like we're ahead here. They would have to naturally draw a green source to have any chance right now. And they packed it up. Yeah, two turns from now, they'd have no permanence left with the double wasteland. My endurance can tuck endurance, and decking's not a problem. That was honestly crazy. Okay. Uh, I want the other Jace. I want Force of Negation. I want Surgical Extraction. I want Witherbloom Command. Run Afoul does answer Merit Lage. 
but so do so does plow but i guess like that's mostly the same card hydroblast we saw valakut explorations in their deck don't want dispute double plague engineer does beat field of the dead if i can have both of them in play at the same time it's been a long time since Legacy looked like that, but that was like a real thing back in the day. Uh, Seeds of Innocence does check sagas and anything saga have produced. Okay. What does that mean for the rest of this? I think Flusterstorm's not great. I can go lower on Swords to Plowshares. I do want some number of Dress Down. Baleful Strix is like not huge. It can buy a turn off of Merit Lage, but whatever. This deck's pretty good at answering Merit Lage. Teferi is medium minus, honestly. It's just a thing that dies to Punishing Fire, and they don't really have that many permanents I care about bouncing. Prismatic Ending can answer the permanents I'm worried about, or with the Moon Command, like I'm doing that already. Endurance, Strix, Uro, Caracas, two Jaces, three Endings. I'm just trying to think of if I need two Plows in this deck. I could just go like this, a uh, sort of min-max against the, the Merit Lage. Like, you could build your deck to just never lose to Merit Lage, or you can build your deck to look like you can't lose to Merit Lage, but you, you actually can. But by doing so, you get edges in other places. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep this hand. Yeah, Caracas, Wasteland. I'm not losing to Merit Lage. I might lose to Wasteland. But I have Ponder to try to get ahead of that and Witherbloom Command to follow it up. Some graveyard hate in endurance here. If I draw a second fetch land on my draw first draw step, I may uh, just not cast ponder. You don't have to play into wasteland. It's optional. <laughs> I, frankly, I recommend not doing it. Loam. Okay. Just getting the loam happening already. Wrong. I think I actually have to ponder now. I think I want to ponder off of Tropical Island that casts the most spells in my hand. Alright, found Force of Will. And do I just spew off on Endurance? Or like Endurance right now. Exile with a Bloom Command. And get rid of the Loam. That I think I spend a turn forcing Loam. And then I can Wither Bloom Command to pull ahead and kill their diamond. Like, if they, if they even cast Loam this turn, then they don't get to do Saga stuff. If they waste me this turn, they don't get to do Saga stuff. Choke. Okay, well. But I have the Force of Will. And then... Drawing a Black Source. Then... Blue, Black. I'm gonna mill myself, pick up a land, and exile Mox Diamond. I'm gonna get the Tundra, because they're about to tutor. And they could get Pithing Needle and just name Flooded Strand, so that doesn't do what I needed to. I did just mill over an Uro, which is a little awk, because they could get Soul Guide Lantern and just nuke it. But hitting that Mox Diamond also got zero constructs out of this saga that's about to die right now. Oh wow. They're going in on this loam. I'm gonna Endurance. I'm gonna Endurance, pitch Endurance, and then waste them off Yavimaya. Is that smart? Does that make any sense? Pretty aggressive. Sucks that I lost the second endurance here. But there goes all your cards. One card left in hand. I don't know what it is. Exploration. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, you're getting wasted. Um I guess I should brainstorm. Because if I come up with surgical extraction here or some different thing. Oh, force negation. That that's even better. Um, I'm still going to Wasteland here. Bang, take out Yavimaya, and then we're on the Uro clock. They have one mana in Exploration with no lands to play. Next turn, I can Uro. All of this is with Force and Negation up. If they ever do find the land, I can get rid of Loam forever. Okay, uh, blue, blue, green, green. One, two, three, four, five. Red Blast is a card they could have drawn there to slow me down a little, but I'm not that worried about it. This looks good. Wow, Wasteland is fucked. And they just somehow haven't drawn a land or a spell. Or I guess they must have drawn spells. Like maybe their hand is just th two Mox Diamonds. I don't know. Here comes Uro. Uh, 
I'll put the drop into play. I'm not quite at the I have enough lands to win with stage, which like I also do, but I don't think I need run afoul and I'll float this ponder on top and make my land drop for the turn. I can hard cast force now. Uh, Thespian stage. Next turn they can dredge loam and do stuff. Oh, uh, they have loam now. Okay, I'm not going to fight over that loam. I'm kind of in the market for a surgical extraction at this point. Uh, I guess I knew run afoul was there. I should have shuffled. Whoops. I was distracted by their second loam and forgot about that. Oh, nice. Do not shuffle my library. One, two, three, four. Jace, now shuffle my library. And let's look for that surgical. Brainstorm. Loam is dope. I'm not going to need seeds this game. Loam back my wasteland and my fetches. There's wasteland. Waste your stage. Okay, now we're doing the thing. Save that land drop for the very last thing I did on the turn. I'm going to force of negation this loam. And then between Brainstorm, Uro, and Jace, I'm going to try to have... I just need to buy one more turn against the next loam. But they don't want to play it out. All right, six and one. Defeated lands. That was not how I pictured this matchup playing out on paper, but it was really cool. I'm sure Pokemoki, who's played a bunch of matches with this deck, could have explained what the lands matchup looks like. But having never played it before, I was a little worried. But once you get over the hump of like, please don't waste me off a critical color, like once you have three lands in play, you have so many things to do and so many of them are relevant. That was really satisfying. On to the next one we go. We're about halfway through the video, so let me just remind you that if you like this deck and you want to try it out, you can use the code Boston Roll to support the channel while you shop for cards at tcgplayer.com, and you can play any deck anytime with cardhoarder.com loan account on Magic Online. These links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the play in round number eight, and I'm going to keep this. It's reactive, but it's really stable. I don't think I could keep this on the draw, but on the play I'm in, opponent doesn't have any posted legacy results on MTG Goldfish. They have a spread of pioneer results with a bunch of different decks, like nothing I could glean like a playstyle from. Plateau, oh baby. Is this a painter deck? Some sort of like elementals port? At least I know I'm not getting dazed from a plateau. Okay, uh, exile your thing. There are some older Jeskai decks that do have Plateau in them. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. This is very strange. But my opponent is 6-1 and one, or 7-1. and one. Wait, What round is it? Oh, it's round 9, isn't it? I've honestly lost track. My opponent's X1 deep in the tournament. Okay, Jeskai seems to be confirmed. Love that Ponder. Love that it's not a dashed Ragavan. Throwing a spell would be very exciting this turn. I'm good on lands, especially with the loam. They did not shuffle. Okay, cool. A spell, maybe? Elfal Strix, cool. Um, I can deploy Strix, or I can loam here. I think I like Strix. I've got lands for days. Both the spell and the amount of time that I have lands for. Here is my Strix. It's in there. God, I love when Baleful Strix resolves. Is anything more satisfying on the entire Earth? I'm going to get my Ponder in here now. If they want to daze a Ponder when they're behind on board on the draw, then they can do that. I am revealing my fourth color here, though. But I'm not doing anything if I'm not Pondering. Very strong. Um, I'm going to put the Brainstorm in my hand and the Strix under it. I'm just trying to mitigate a line that's like lightning bolt untap dash ragavan i don't want to give them brainstorm or ponder they can have strix because i can bounce it with teferi and then i get the strix back that's not what happened what is this is this splinter twin is there a chance that that's the case god i hope not i'm not ready for that oh it's jeskai stone blade fascinating teferi can answer a cauldra if I don't find a, a better answer to what's going on here. My top card is Ponder. I think I can Brainstorm here. 
have the space to make that happen. Witherbloom command doesn't kill what I need it to kill here. I'm going to put Mystic Sanctuary in the deck and... Or, no, I'm not. I can put Swords to Pleasures on top of my deck right now. If I go Loam Strix, uh, I can't put Loam on top if they rag me, which I don't think is going to happen, but I can't abide by it if it does. I uh, still want the Strix on top. So Strix, I guess Mystic Sanctuary is actually better on top. Yeah, I, I can't get a White Land face up this turn. I can get a Black Land face up. Does that matter? No, because I could still Ponder. All right, I'm going to Uro. Here's Uro. Oh, that's Prismatic Ending, not Plow on top anyway. No Rush. We're making a move. A Red Blast. We're going to Plow the front half of Uro. What's going on here? Looks like they're lining up a Plow for the front half. Wait, here's Mystic Sanctuary. Put Prismatic Ending on top. All right, they just let Uro die. Do I want to Ponder now? Like, I know I want that ending. I am not going to Ponder. Probably could have attacked there. I'm not blocking Cauldra. And step brainstorm. Weird. Yeah, I guess if they go land, activate Stoneforge, dash Ragavan, I'm going to be really glad I left back Baleful Strix. Just trying to think of the reasons to be a Jeskai Stoneblade deck compared to any other color you could be. And Ragavan is a red card for sure. Which shouldn't be news to anyone. Ooh. No Cauldra. Fascinating. I'm going to lay from the loam these two lands back first. I'm going to hit these land drops. I got them. I go after the Stoneforge Mystic. Make sure I tap correctly. The other day I put two white into a prismatic ending, targeting a two drop. That was embarrassing. I can put in Cauldra here. It's weird they didn't just jam it last turn, unless they were trying to bait me into eating something other than the germ. Like, if they're all in on the germ, it incentivizes them to hang out on the Stoneforge, or they just have two different weapons that I need to be worried about here. Moment of truth is Cauldra. Stoneforge is gone. I can ponder here. There's a bunch of more white removal spells in my deck. Horse of Will, Baleful Strix. That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to put Horse of Will in my hand. And I'm drawing Baleful Strix, which is the blue card to go with it next turn, which I can hopefully punch the Teferi through and bounce the Germ token. I'm still going to leave back Strix out of respect for Ragavan. Another end step brainstorm. They've been pretty aggressive with those. If they're trying to hit their fifth land drop for a Sword of Fire and Ice plus equip, I could be in a lot of trouble here. That's land number five. I really don't want to have to pitch to Fairy. Okay, good. Ponder is a is sweet relief. I think that's two of their three brainstorms they've cast now that they didn't have an immediate shuffle available for. I'm hoping I can make this game last long enough that that short term energy is wasted. I can easily take five here. The life total is robust. They're casting Merktide Regent right now. That's scary. I'm drawing Baleful, or I have Baleful Strix in play. I don't even need to draw it. Okay. But I am drawing another one too, <laughs> in case anyone forgot. I play my land and then the fairy, leaving up blue black in case I need to Strix, or in case I get to Strix. I probably have to force at first here. Just hope they don't have two forces, I guess. Force pitching days. This is the fight I want to make. All right, we're in there. Ugh, that was terrifying. Bounce the germ token. Do not dredge loam. Durance, not super helpful here, but I can shove Uro right now. Yeah, that's really good. Right now, while I know that this is going to work, is a great time to Uro. Going to get Tundra as a blue source and Tropical Island as a green source. Or do I want Savannah here? Maybe I want Savannah at this point. Doesn't really matter as long as it makes blue, blue, green, green. I do have Loam currently in the zone here, so I exiled all my spells, left my lands. Between Uro and Endurance, the life gain and the reach blocking, they have to get through the Strix before the Murktide gets to do anything. Even when Murktide does turn sideways, they have to decide if they want to fight over Teferi in any amount of combats, or just ignore that and try to win the game on board. Uh, we'll see. Uro is in there. 
not going to dredge loam. I am in the business of spells here. Uh, I wish that Force of Will had a blue card to go with it. But that's a turn. Sword of Fire and Ice is kind of a beating here. That card is always a beating. They're a mana short of equipping Cauldra. They still have to get through the Baleful Strix before they do anything else. I mean, Sword of Fire and Ice does just punch through Baleful Strix. So let's hope that doesn't come up here. Also, if you look at my opponent's clock, when I cast that Uro, they said, like, BRB, family stuff, and they lost seven minutes on their clock. A lot of these uh, games have come down really tight on time. So if I win game one and they have to win two games in 11 minutes, that's, like, a whole different thing, a whole different challenge. There was only... So second Mark tied. There was only one spell, or there were two spells in the graveyard. Okay, never mind. I'm going to go to six here. They are ignoring Teferi, as I suspected they might. Not going to dredge loam. I need spells. That's a really good spell. Okay. I can attack with Uro. Gain some life. Still not dredging loam. <laughs> okay. I think this game is over. They don't need to know that yet. Plus to fairy, I can wither bloom command as an instant now. Fetching in the end step. Normally I would have done this on my turn before they drew a card or untap their mana, but with Teferi it doesn't matter. I'm gonna let them ponder under the impression that they still have Merktide Regents in play. This is why I didn't fire it off right away. Because this ponder might look for I don't know, like Lightning Bolt to finish out the game through a single removal spell versus like another creature that they're going to have to rebuild with. I, I don't know. Like, they, I have information they don't right now. And that information is that they don't actually have any Murktide Regents in play. But they are about to gain 15 life, which I hope doesn't matter. Here come the Jerks. Swords to Plowshare is one. Swords to Plowshare is two. Oh, this one's attacking Teferi. Interesting. Yeah, let's keep Teferi around. If you care enough to miss lethal, or, like, not miss, I'm sure, like, they made the choice not to present lethal there. They must have bet that I had a... I actually do want to force a will this. They must have bet that I did have a removal spell, and they might as well try to kill Teferi in that case. Okay, force on the plow. They have one card left in hand to my Planeswalker Uro bearing down in two spells. Like, yeah. Is a good concession. Jeskai Stoneblade is the name of the game here. Seeds of Innocence, unfortunately, does not destroy the card I really needed to destroy, which is Cauldra. Hydra Blast comes in. They have red cards for a reason. We saw Lightning Bolt. We can expect Red Elemental Blast. I presume Ragavan's in the deck. I don't think I like Force of Negation or this many Force of Wills. Mystical Dispute is really good against. Uh, the Mirko. Narset's really good in blue mirrors, just in general. Witherbloom Command, a little awkward. It removes Umazawa's Jete. It kills Ragavan if it's not being dashed. Oh, just kind of kind of weird, Witherbloom Command. I really wish it was minus two, minus two instead of minus three, minus one, but then that card would just be completely bananas. Uh, Run Afoul, I like. Dress Down can clip Stoneforge Mystic. Like, if you dress down in response to Stoneforge, they don't get to search. But I don't think I want both of them. You can also uh, dress down a Murktide region. It'll arrive as a 3-3 no matter what it delved. But I think going like this makes sense. An extra Planeswalker threat. Some more efficient counterspells and removal. All of my white removal still in the deck. I'm not going to bring in Gutshot until they show me the Ragavan. Like, I want to see it. I can imagine it's there right now, but I want to see it with my eyes. So the last question is, do I want Veil of Summer? And I don't think that I do. This might be a Veil on the play, Force on the draw situation, like the Delver matchup. I'm going in like this. But we did see Dragon Rage Channeler. That happened so long ago that I forgot about it. Also, this is round eight. <laughs> I double-checked. It's round eight, not round nine. It's been a long day. This hand answers Ragavan and eventually Merktide Regent. I'm going to keep this. 
It's got land drops to make. I like this. I like what's going on here. Also like that opponent mulligan to six. Let's see. Do you have the Ragavan for the DRC? It is Ragavan. Confirmed. I don't think they showed me a Wasteland last game. I don't remember seeing it. But I have to wait until combat to bounce this or else they just go land dash with it. They did show me days last game. They pitched it to a force of will. Okay, Wasteland's confirmed. This does at least bounce the Ragavan. They can replay it, but at least it's not attacking me right now. Time to draw a Prismatic Ending. That's not it. I'm going to play Underground Sea and Brainstorm right now. This can weird up the Ragavan at least. Okay, uh, this is way more lands than I need. Put two of those back. Uh, that actually sucks. That guarantees Ragavan's hitting me twice. All right, we're just going to have to settle in for a game where Ragavan hits me twice. There's the Rag. It takes a fetch land. I do at least have Run Afoul for a Murko if that happens to me. If I were braver, Gutshot would be in my deck. It's like, like I mentioned that they have to be playing Ragavan like five times last round or last game and then just did nothing based on that information. Coward. Okay. Blooded Strands in play. Ragavan's going to hit me again. And then I will be given the opportunity to draw a random card from at the top of my deck. They took Ponder. Okay. That was a good Ragavan. I hate when Ragavan's good. Did not shuffle their Ponder and then did not make a land drop. That's scary. I have a Ponder of my own. Okay. Please don't be a Stifle deck. I think I want Tropical Island here. I'm going to play Misty Rainforest so they don't daze my Ponder. I actually want this thing to resolve. They could aggro Red Blast it. Um, Brainstorm is good. Dress Down is whatever. I'll take the Brainstorm. They can have the Dress Down. Then I draw Narset. But now they have a land drop. That was weird. Or did they, they didn't waste me last turn. Yeah, that, the Wasteland happened the turn before. Okay. Took Dress Down. They could cast it just to draw a card. A two mana draw a card is whatever. And if they're not doing anything else with their mana, it's a good use of that. Like Ragavan connecting and drawing a card is pretty reasonable. All right, they are going for it. Maybe they won't know how this works and they'll go for a Merc Tide right now. I could pitch cast Endurance and just have a 3 4 in play right now, but I don't think that's the best use of my mana. I also don't think I actually want Narset here, so I'm going to fetch. I'm going to get Tundra because white cards are what I'm looking for. There is one Blooded Strand Prismatic Ending. Please leave. So there are seven cards in hand. Probably contain a Counterspell if they want one. But it has to be Force of Will because that's not a blue card. I'm just going to hang out on that information. Dashed Raggy. Okay. I'm going to brainstorm in response here. Hope they don't have Hall Breacher. Okay, they can have another Flooded Strand. That's gone. I should have put Mystic Sanctuary in the deck instead of Underground Sea. That was loosey-goosey. I'm going to fetch for Bayou here, because I want black mana and the second green mana. Oh, Flooded Strand doesn't get Bayou. I do have to make the second green here, though. I guess Savannah plays. Okay. I can Swords to Plowshares Ragavan, then also put in Endurance and fight it. This Mystic Sanctuary is punishing so hard right now. That card should not be in my hand. Wish it was an underground seat. Here's Rag. Do I go for the Endurance? I think I just want to go for a clean little Swords to Plowshares here. They have Run Afoul from Murktide. And if they commit Force of Will on this, they might even pitch Days. Force Pitching Force. Okay. If there was a Days in their hand, they would have pitched that instead of the second force. So I'm for Endurance. See if my bait spell pays off. Endurance you ahead of the Murktides. They could have Swords to Plowshares. They are a white deck, but this has still done a big job. And they do appear to be pretty much in on this Ragavan. Oh no, not that. Not like this. Just my best card. And the one that denies me the best chance of getting back in this game ever. Fuck. 
that was a really good Ragavan connection. Hydra Blast can hit the Ragavan. Uh, oh, I can't wither Bloom Command. I don't even have black. Wow, this Mystic Sanctuary is bad. Uh, I, if I lose this game, I deserve every second of it. Yeah, that would come into play untapped, represent Force of Will. I could wither Bloom Command to hit my land drop. All of these things that I'm not able to do because I played the. I just stacked my brainstorm wrong. In a moment of not paying attention. Ponder did not shuffle. Narset picked up a brainstorm. Their clock just went under five minutes. Here's Ragavan. I'm gonna Hydra Blast this jerk. Ragavan's dead. Okay. And they didn't have a follow up threat. Misty Rainforest. Okay, that gets black, which does what? I think I just have to not do anything here. I could waste them off white. That actually sounds reasonable. They have all the treasures, but let's make them spend them. They haven't shown me a saga or anything yet. There's Brainstorm. That's not where the Force of Will is going. If they cast Marktide Regent, I'll hardcast Force of Will. And then if they fight over it, I'll untap and run it afoul. There's the Merc. Get Underground Sea. Get my black mana on. Force of Will. Kind of hope they force back. Yeah, Red Blast is much cleaner, of course. That's done. Arctide's in. Jace the Mind Sculptor. I do like that card. Witherbloom Command. I can destroy a treasure and mill myself, or I can drain them, like drain gain. All right, I'm going to go with Run Afoul first. I don't think I could trick them into countering my Witherbloom Command. And they would need Force of Will. Like if I command first, then Run Afoul, that turns on like Flusterstorm. Okay, uh, there's that. I don't think I can afford to take a hit. I am shoving my spell into Red Blast and Daze if I cast Jace here, but I don't think I have much of a choice. I guess I could Wither Bloom. Three cards in there, and that's so many. I'm going to cast Jace. All right, bet. They had Red Blast. Okay. I'm at three life, functionally. Narset was so good. They three for zero. Do they have second Merc Tide to kill me now? They do have exactly three spells in the bin. Yep, okay. I am dead for Xaxes here. And we're on to game three. They have three and a half minutes on the clock. All I gotta do is stay alive. Which is my plan anyway. I'm not just, like, playing to scum them. Just saying. Gut shot. I quite like. Now that I know for sure... I like Veil over Force. We saw quite the pile of Red Blasts in that deck. White cards. Yeah, I, I do like one Jace being around. Wither Bloom does hit Ragavan, and yeah, maybe the Wither Bloom should be in the deck over the Jace. Their deck does seem pretty soft to Wasteland as well. Oh, Carpet of Flowers should be on this deck. What am I doing? What am I doing? I think the Plateau confused me. Okay, Carpet of Flowers belongs in here somewhere. What's the cut? Maybe I don't actually need the third Wither Bloom. It doesn't line up against Stoneforge Mystic, so they have better things than the average Delver or Jeskai decks. On the play, handful of interactive spells. Keep these. Play my Fetchland, pass. There's Rag. I'd love to draw gut shot right now. I'm going to wait until their turn, make sure I don't get dashed by the second copy. Allow this in combat. Oh, the Force of Will's tricky. And I'm going for the Veil. It's a blowout if it works, but I am playing into Daze. Not really anything I can do about that, though. Tropical Island. And we Veil of Summer, FT dubs. They might not have all their Dazes in on the draw. They can't force a negation this. Oh, they had another Force. Okay, that was a two for four, all in the name of connecting with Ragavan. They pitched a meddling mage and a brainstorm to make this happen. Please don't be good. He just takes some shitty land that I don't care about. <laughs> Not that. Jesus. Or take, you know, my best planeswalker again. Okay, they drew a card off to fairy immediately. Witherbloom command. Sweet merciful. Good news. Okay. Uh, Witherbloom Command. 
I'm gonna mill three, go rag, green, black. All right, that worked. I'm gonna pick up the bayou rather than the fetch land. And I might as well ponder here. I'm not bluffing anything. Run afoul. Happy to see that. Okay. All right, we should be able to make this game take a little while. Ponder action. What a nice Teferi they have, though. Come on. <laughs> they chose to shuffle. Uh, I did not play around Dash Dragovan here. All right, they don't have it. Good. My top card is land, isn't it? I did kind of play around Dash Dragovan. I'll take it. I'll take the credit, even if I don't deserve it. I think I just escape Uro here. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Even if they counter it, it is still like a, a spell from nothing. Like that already drew a card. Or no, did I mill that over with? I must have milled that over with Witherbloom. Don't forge Mystic. All right, that's a little bit scary. They got the Cauldra. Uro. Baleful Strix. I think I want to lead on Strix. Black. Blue. Leaving up white mana. Uh, Alright. Here comes another Uro. I get a draw here. Still looking for a Swords to Plowshares. Or something that answers Cauldra. Found Swords to Plowshares. That's good news. I'm going to get Savannah right now. Plow this. And Teferi makes it really easy to just, you know, cast your spells. Don't think about days. Don't think about anything, because it doesn't matter. You don't get to make those choices. Let's see if they cash in Teferi for a card here, or if they just keep casting spells. Mark Tied, I'm ready for that. Three cards in hand. One of them's called your complete. One minute left on the clock. Wasteland. I'm going to hit the white source. And I'm going to run them a foul. If they do have Force Blue card here... Then, all right, they didn't have it, but they would have been hellbent. Green. Oh, I can do better. I can tap better. I can leave up better colors. Uh, can I leave up white if I do this? Yeah, green, green, blue, blue, green. Green, blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five. Leaving Wasteland in the graveyard. Eating the second arrow because I have the third one in hand. Pyroblast, you got it. I'm going to attack Teferi so it can't minus for free. This does let them dash Rag if they have it. But Ragvan's not going to deal 19 damage in 40 seconds. Misty. All right. Three Uro. There's another Uro from hand, the third one. I go to 22. I accidentally stack my triggers backwards. Probably doesn't matter. Sometimes it does. Usually doesn't. I don't have enough cards in the graveyard to get Uro back this turn, but if they do anything to this Baleful Strix, it'll be in the graveyard for next turn. Block. They might be setting up a Murktide. They were not. Okay. Um, gonna fetch and summon Uro. There's Uro on the stack. Have the Force of Will. You got it. I'm not gonna Wither Bloom here. There are still creatures in their deck. I can Wither Bloom to Mill next turn and maybe hit Uro. Force of Will. That's a little slow here. I'm going to drain them and mill myself. Black, green. Get Misty Rainforest. Play Misty Rainforest. So they're going to put in Cauldra here. I'm going to put Brainstorm on top of my deck with Mystic Sanctuary this turn. They have five seconds to win this game. Mystic Sanctuary. Put Brainstorm on top. Yeah, I think that, uh, that, uh, that family business they had to take is going to cost them the match, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Not quite on Uro level. Green. Green. Bang. Can still force a will. Just want to make sure they don't Merc Tide me. And I take five one more time, and then they're out of moments on the clock. Uh, this is why you play Hydro Blast instead of Red Elemental Blast. Blue, blue. Green. Green, one, two, three, four, five. Gain some life. Holding up Force of Will, and you're up. This was close. I think we are... I think we're slightly ahead, actually. Like, if nobody does anything, I think that favors me. Like, 
I think in real life they would leave back the Cauldra to block, and then Uro can't attack, but then neither of us are doing anything. Uh, maybe they could Jitte on a, over the next couple turns, but, well, unfortunate, but this is Eternal Weekend. It's serious magic, and I will take my win. Next round's coming. I'm on the play in actually round nine now. I'm going to keep this hand. My opponent revealed Yorion, which probably indicates death and taxes. Their only finish on MTG Goldfish is Hogak from long ago, and Hogak's definitely not this uh, Yorion deck. I have Plows from Mother of Runes. I can counter Aether Vile. I'm just going to cast Strix right now while the getting's good. They don't do anything on their first turn. I take advantage. That's Those are the rules. To make sure I get a blue source here, though. No, uh, Witherbloom Command is not so busto. I want to make sure I can cast that card. Here's Baleful Strix. The old Tundra Bayou start. This is just all four colors. Glad I fetched green there now that I picked up an Endurance. Thalia, don't care. Probably would have forced Stoneforge. Maybe not. I can attack here. And if they attack with Thalia, I eat it. Alright, I don't eat that. Still deploying the Endurance. Gonna target nobody here. Okay, so really aggressive swords to plowshares early on. Just trading a plow for their entire third turn. That's a deal. I mean, I understand I was uh, eating their Thalia. So it wasn't like it just was terrible. It's just like that that was a good exchange for me, is all I'm trying to say. Gonna brainstorm here. Picked up a little extra fat right now that I don't want. I think I can tuck this third plow down a little bit. Play Tropical Island, and I can attack. I'm not blocking Thalia here. The Caracas keeps Thalia th safe from the plows. Just gotta work through it. It doesn't keep everything safe from plows. My deck does gain life pretty well. Spirit of the Lab, that's getting plowed. Let's get you out. Is that fifth land. Back with Strix, and then I'm going to play the other Strix. Next card down is also Plow. I'm still interested in that. Black, blue. Witherbloom Command. This is one of the matchups it's expressedly for. Now I'm winning this race. I don't have three islands in play to rebuy Brainstorm. It'll happen someday. No rush. If they go for Stoneforge Mystic or some shit, I can dress it down. Or... Even Solitude, but then they get to keep that. Oh, Field of Ruins a Nightmare. Yeah, I don't have any basics in the deck. That's gone. Okay. You were right to make that move. Mother, I can remove that from play. Wow, your mom. Ah, deep sigh. Prismatic Ending. Still can't target Thali with that effectively. My deck does have Wastelands in it someday. I might find one to answer the Caracas, but... This Thali is not really a problem. The Solitude that they can now hardcast might become a problem. All right, I'm going to dress this down. That's a more effective answer than trying to remove it. Though if they already have an equipment, that's a punish. Oh, there's that. Uh, I'm going to attack with... I'll attack with both. Whatever. Going to have to sort the plowshares anyway. If they have Cauldra or whatever. Another one? How about another one of these as well? It also turns off Thalia for the turn, which means I can cast spells for one mana right now. I'm going to take three. That's fine. I think I am going to rebuy Brainstorm with Mystic Sanctuary this turn, though. Spirit of the Lab. Okay, cool. A very easy card to Swords to Plowshares there. I'm going to get Tundra. Wow, the spirit, and then rebuy, brainstorm. Not having black mana is kind of shitty, but I think getting brainstorm to reload this hand, like force of will, starting to get kind of bad. And brainstorm, cool. Uh, I like endurance quite a bit. I can put back the end or the strix and the ending. Those are not going to come up for a minute. I have two cards left. I actually think I wait a turn on Endurance. Because if they just hardcast Solitude and clean me out, that's not something I can abide by. I think I have to take the four this turn. 
Except my beats, and I should stop attacking with my Baleful Strixes. At least get these Stone Forges under control. Mother, that's gonna get plowed. Yorion just went into the hand. See you later, Mother. Yorion and two Mystery Cards in the hand. I'm just gonna pass the turn with no attacks here. And it's Endurance time. Hopefully this will at least tap the Caracas. Uh, target nobody with this. I do want my Graveyard juiced up for Uro, if I find it. Prepared for this. I think that might have been a little aggro, knowing that Yorion's in their hand. But, forcing this exchange now, I think I like. I'm gonna have to end one of these Mystics. If they pitch cast... Okay, I was about to say, if they pitch cast Solitude now, I'll be so happy. But, that didn't happen. No surprise at all. Ugh, Wasteland. Now, Thalia Yorion is their hand, or Yorion mystery card now. Baleful Strix I can't cast. I knew I was drawing that. Uh, okay. White and blue. X equals zero, but two colors were paid. Sneak around the Thalia that way. Then I think I can attack for two here. They get to... Yori in this turn, reset Stoneforge Mystic, get to work next turn. Ugh. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, I am definitely behind and in a bad way here. I'm going to die to Cauldra pretty quick over the next few turns. Stoneforge is back. Cauldra's in hand, as we know. Come on, removal. All right, this might still be removal. Fetch. Get Underground Sea. If I can remove Stoneforge Mystic right now, we're actually pretty stable. Ugh. Here comes Cauldra. I have to put Endurance in front of it to eat the lethal attack. I clave that person. Oh, I'm just dead. Okay. All right, yeah, that was, that was a solid final salvo here. Yeah, I'm just dead. They attack with everything. There's no block that keeps me alive. Oh, they left back Yorion. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. That was tough. I probably messed that game up somewhere, I'm willing to believe. This is one of the matchups the black cards are for, compared to the red cards. Like, it hasn't... I mean, I've cast Witherbloom Command a lot, but it hasn't really come up that this is a black card matchup, and Plague Engineer goes so far here. Witherbloom Command, Seeds of Innocence. Their deck does have flyers. I'm not sure Run Afoul is where I want to be here. So we'll see what I'm bringing in and out. I think I want all of the Planeswalkers. Anything that generates steady advantage over multiple turns. I want some number of Force of Will, but not like all of them. I'll try two to start. Life from the Loam, very good. Dress Down, good. Uro, also good. But if I'm on a Planeswalker plan, maybe I don't need all the Uros. Is there a deck that plays four Caracas and Plow and Solitude and all of those things? That makes winning with Uro very difficult. I think I do need some number of Force Will to stay in the deck. And I need all my lands. Currently have seven cards in, five cards out. Could just go down another Force of Will. The Thalia last game did embarrass the Force of Will pretty hard. Do I just play to the board? And Death in Texas doesn't play shit like Cataclysm anymore. Like I don't need to play to a giant banger. It's just like... There's usually like one or two really intense exchanges in a game where like they have Vile and you have Force and they have Thalia and like what Gracchus is involved in whatever uh, that you usually want one Force of Will to show up there. Maybe Uro is better than Narset. I'm willing to believe that. Because Death in Texas doesn't draw cards and Uro puts extra lands into play, which matters more than what Narset's doing. And I'm submitting this deck. I'm looking for lands and removal. This hand has both of those, keeping. A land go is the plan. Witherbloom can take out a vial. Uh, I kind of hope they have Aether Vial. Well, Mother of Runes is even better. Well, it's mostly the same, but it's also insane. Okay. Fetch Trop C. Underground C. Tropical Island. And then we go minus three, one, and get a land. I'm actually going to mill them, because I already have lands in my graveyard, and I don't think it matters. 
They don't necessarily want to fuel. Oh, I mailed their cauldra. Get fucked. All right. A giant wind con just randomly spiked out of their deck right there. I don't think they have a lot of ways to recur, if any, cards from their graveyard. Stoneforge Mystic. Cool. Feeling good about that Witherbloom Command. Not feeling great about this Stoneforge Mystic, still just getting Sophie. But there are white cards in my deck. Maybe I'll draw some of them. Brainstorm, big fan of that. Prismatic Ending, great. Uh, I don't actually think I want Uro for a while now. And... I'll put Jace on top. Then I can just end this thing. Blue, white. Get it out. Brackus. That's going to make sort of fire and ice cost a lot more. Also makes Jace cost a lot more. I can fetch black right now. Or I'm going to Strix. All right. Uh, black, blue. I do want this arrow that's on top of my deck. And then fetch for the Bayou. And. Blue, black again. I'm not going to play Plague Engineer right now because they just pick up the Thalia and then they can plow Plague Engineer and it never actually gets a card. It just creates a little bit of tempo gap, which I don't really need in this matchup. I need to kill things. And no blocks. This card has first strike. Wasteland's pretty good. Recruiter's also good. Glad they didn't wasteland me though. This is where you Plague Engineer. I'm going to get a card off of it at least and they have to pick up the Thalia. And it lets me dress down next turn because Thalia won't be in play. Okay, uh, black, blue, colorless, name human. We have to pick up Thalia in response here. Human, get out. Back with my Strixos. Then they can't play Thalia until they deal with the engineer. If I can get this Jace down before they get back on board. Two Wastelands is a lot, but they're pretty far behind on board at the moment. They did have the Plow. Okay, that's gone. You got me. They could just go like Thalia, Wasteland, Wasteland. Uh, the Sophie's in play. Okay, that's cool. Tight, tight plays. Do I want the Mystic Sanctuary right now to get Prismatic Ending and Gerd of Sophie forever? Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Sanctuary. Pick up Ending. Uh, Actually, yeah, I guess that was pretty bad to do right now, but here's Jace instead. And Brainstorm. Looking for land drops. These wastelands are a little frightening. Uh, all these cards are good. I'm going to put back Uro and Dress Down, I think. And then I can attack for two. I can ponder this Uro into my hand and then shuffle away the other thing. Brainstorm's on top. I'm not in a hurry to have Dress Down. I can get white mana, which is what I was worried about, versus the Wasteland. Bummer. That would have been a good time to have Dress Down. Okay. My thing's gone. If they go to equip here, I'll plow in response. I'll get a 4-4 and begin the beats. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alright, I will plow in response to that. I think I want to get Savannah. I have lots of blue already, just make sure I keep white and green. Allow the apparition get a 4 4. Flickerus can answer that. That's okay. Tropical Island, Uro, green, blue, another color. Wait, can I get Uro all the way into play this turn? I can. It just. I'll save it. Don't need to do that right now. Rest down. Happy to see that eventually. Okay. Green. Oh, I should leave up white. White. Green. Blue. Exile the sword forever. Attack for six. I had a chance to exile Thalia there, but I think that the sword is a bigger long term problem than Thalia is. Flicker Wisp. That's going to get rid of my 4 4. The Strixes have the Flicker Wisp covered. I can also dress down and remove the first strike from Thalia, but Caracas is still showing up strong there. Speaking of, there's Caracas. Blue, green, green, blue. I'm kind of splitting the difference between like what if I draw Loam and what if I endurance myself in a long game right now. Backup arrows dope. I'll attack with A Strix. If they want to trade, we can trade. 
If they don't, I'll hold back. Their Caracas can bounce my Uro. My Caracas can bounce their Thalia. Dress Down can stop most of the worst things that they're capable of. Keep an eye on the clock. I am three minutes behind my opponent right now, and I'm hoping to play three games here. Thalia's in. You got it. Yorion's in hand. I would love to dress down Yorion. But I'd like to find Wasteland first. Oh, that's a good one. Um, get rid of you. And one, two, three, four. Here's Jace. Brainstorm. Put back Burrow and Teferi. And then I can play from the loam, get that happening. That makes those wastelands completely relevant, even though I think they already are. It's going to be hard for them to connect through a dress down, I think. Unless they go like plow plow, that would be shitty. But Solitude doesn't do it. Maybe I'm supposed to plus for a turn just to play around double plow. I would love to dress down a Skyclave Apparition or similar here, though. Council's Judgment? What year is it? Okay. That resolves. Jace is gone. Rest in peace. My goodness. Um, I could brainstorm and get the loan back. But... I, I will brainstorm, actually, because this Uro just got a lot worse. Teferi, Uro, and Gutshot. Okay, I'll put the Uros back, and then rest in peace is fine. I can Gutshot this Flicker Wisp if I need to. Oh, I can dress down Uro into play. That doesn't matter, though, because they have all these uh, Caracuses. And by all these, I mean this one Caracas. I have lots of white, lots of every color. Uh, I guess I didn't have three black. They can waste me off black right now. Let me just cast all my black spells before it matters. Black, blue. Strix. Uro, okay. Uh, Teferi. We've got blue, white, and another color. I'm going to attack with two Strixes, see if they block. I'm going to bounce one of my own Strixes, I think. Yeah, bounce a Strix. Replay that. Got black, blue. I'm leaving up dress down and gut shot. Feel pretty safe in the face of this flicker wisp. They could go wasteland, wasteland, what you got. But I think they need their wastelands now more than I need my lands. Okay. The Caracas is a pretty good one to get rid of, though. And it's gone forever because of rest in peace. I'm just going to dress down now. Make sure, like, Yorian shit doesn't happen later in this turn. Let's lock it down. Because the Force of Wills aren't in the deck. There's nothing to brainstorm for here. Lock. That's gone. Maybe I'm supposed to gutshot that, but I think it's okay. Thalia, don't care. I can gutshot that, but I'm not going to because they could pick it up. Uh, black, blue, and other Strix. Plus to Fairy. I think I want to ponder here. Do I need to ponder? My hand's full of removal and other spells and shit. I'm likely to gutshot Thalia this turn. Or a prismatic ending. The rest in peace is probably part of my play this turn. I block with Strix. Prismatic ending. The rest in peace. White. Green. Get rid of it. That unlocks these Uros. Uh. I think I'm just going to let this Strix die. I don't want to fight over this Thalia. I don't care. And putting another piece of cardboard in my graveyard for Uro doesn't hurt. Cyclave Apparition, Dress Down. That's just a 2 2. I'm going to ponder in my end step. Extremely interested in finding Wasteland for their Caracas. Oh, Endurance is pretty good. Seeds is good too. I don't shuffle any of this. Keep it all. Could have pondered again because Thali is turned off right now. Plus, I am going to ponder now. Uh, I'm not going to shuffle. I do like that. Attack with my Strixos. I'm going to pass the turn here. I can clear their board. I can plow the Apparition before Yorion flickers it. Plow Skyclave in response to that. Get a nothing, nothing. No attack is the smart attack there. 
There is one land left in my deck, I believe. Wither Bloom. It's Uro time. Uro, please find Wasteland. Okay. Plague Engineer is pretty cool, though. One, two, three. Probably going to pick up Thalia here. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Thalia is gone. Deal. Um, I'm just not going to do anything here. They try to exile my graveyard again. I can endurance myself. They attack with the Orion. I just block with the Strix. They do nothing. I just go to my turn. I was looking for Wasteland at this point. I'll put your Yorian back in your hand. They could do that with Caracas anyway. Perfect. Speaking of, fuck your Caracas. They probably have another one in their hand because their deck plays like 100. Green. Green. Blue. Blue. Exile cards I don't care about, which is basically most of them. And endurancing myself is becoming a real possibility. I have to end this game. Seven minutes on my clock. Opponent's at three. All right, if I had cast endurance in the end step, I probably oh I could wither bloom plus got shot them and win the game. Whatever, I don't need to do that. Uh, solitude, sure. Dialing that creature, you got it. End of turn. Endurance, target myself. Okay, and they are. All right, I'm just gonna attack with the Strixes and then kill them with wither bloom. I don't want to show them the gut shot. Black, green. You're dead. All right, milling that cauldron randomly on the second turn of the game was pretty spice. All right, somehow I'm at seven minutes and they're at 13. I must be playing poorly or thinking too much. I feel like I want forces back. That was too scrappy. Just having no counter spells in the whole deck felt like not enough. I've seen Rest in Peace, so I'm going down in Uro also. The Jaces were clutch. Teferi is like medium f fine, I guess. And instant speed with her bloom is a big deal. The dress downs were good, but like fine. I feel like Force of Will is occupying the dress down spot right now for me. And on the draw, it's a lot worse. I'm going in like this. I keep this hand full of interactive spells. They had no plan. Turn one. Let it strand go. Thalia. She's getting. Ended. I'm going to get by you. Uh, I can't get by you. I'm going to get underground sea, I guess. <laughs> Apparently, uh, white, black. Probably could have just hit that with Caracas, but I didn't do that. Field of Ruin is a nightmare. They know I don't have any basics. Uh, but I can waste that. That's actually really good for me. Swords to Plowshares, this. Wasteland, that. That's like kind like they're actually down a land now where it would be neutral if they got to activate it. And I I'm down a colorless source instead of a colored source now. So I actually think that was a good exchange. Uh that's bad. And they even went after the correct color. On ponder. Alright, wasteland. Um I'll play Caracas. Wanna give them a a choice with the wasteland rather than just stripping me off blue forever. Fuck. This is really bad. All right, I'm going to cantrip. I just need the, the card here. Land destruction is one of the ways that they can beat you. Come on, blue source. So I have a land to play. I can force of will something if I need to. Um, that's not the fight I'm looking for right now. Come on, deck, land. Okay. We are not dead yet. I can't cast any of the spells in my hand, but we're not dead yet. Fifth land is Batter Skull, all natural. Um, I can pick up Sophie next turn. Yeah, I have to counter this. And I'm going to pitch Strix. I think Uro's better to have in my hand. Needs less specific mana. Or the same specificity, but I have more green sources, or blue sources than black ones in the deck. Oh yes, Ponder, please. Get me out of this. Blooded Strand, yes. Do not shuffle. Play this. My top card is Seeds, if that turns out to be something that I need. Solitude, uh, that's pretty bad. I can pick up Sophie immediately. Yikes. Did I put Seeds on top, or did I put Ponder on top? I don't actually remember. This is really bad. 
I think Ponder's on top. Either way, uh, it's reasonable thing for me to get. Dorian just went into their hand. It was Ponder. Okay. Seeds is my top card. I'm gonna Ponder here. Misty, Misty, Seeds. Do need the land drop. And then I think I just have to take the seven here and recuperate next turn. They put me to four. Oh, the extra cards are what's really killing me here. Oh no, Rashad and Port, are you shitting me? Uh, Recruiter. Yeah, this one's falling apart. Ugh, the multiple Wasteland Field of Ruins, three land destruction effects. I could have probably dealt with one. Probably should have wasted Rashad and Port in the end step there. Uh, I don't have a use for that. Okay, draw this. I can make a black land with this. What did they tutor for? They got Skyclave Apparition. Oh, okay, so I can't make a black land with that. Fuck. Um, I still have my land drop for the turn. I should have wasted that Rashad and Port. That was so bad. I'm dead if I seeds. I'm dead if I don't seeds. I guess I should fetch. Need a green source here for seeds next turn and Wither Bloom now or Uro now. I think Bayou is the play all around. What I need to do here is Uro into a uh, removal spell. Uro into Sword Supply Shares. There's three left in the deck. Uh, this sucks. I Wither Bloom that doesn't get me where I need to go. Okay. Uro into Swords to Plowshares, let's go. Plow, plow, plow. Fuck. Alright, we're dead. Oh, that sucks. I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction of attacking me. Okay, we are now... This was round 9. So we're 7 and 2. I was in 4th coming into this match. My breaker... I have the best breakers, I have the X2s. Uh, I got a final round to play. It might be a win and in, might not. We'll see. I am on the play in the final round against a friend of mine who I know. He likes blue control. Uh, and by, uh, I should say tempo, not control. He has been known to brew spirits in various formats. This is Rearranged AS. He's got a YouTube channel and stuff. Uh, Spirit Squad, shout out. It's on Merfolk. That's what we're doing here today. Okay. I think I want to allow this thing in the end step. Oh, that was bad. I should have saved my plow on Brainstorm into Prismatic Ending. Already losing control of my brain. This is not the time to do that. Time to tighten up. Be prepared for some Cavern of Soul shit. Uh, not every Merfolk deck these days plays Wasteland. Yeah. I'm gonna deny that card. I, I need to draw a card anyway. Like, I really want to hit my land drop. And if I can get any value up this dress down right now, I'm going to take it. If I can get this Uro cranking, then things get a lot better. Okay, does have days. Traded a land and the days for a random card. Fair enough. Wasteland is... Uh, Wasteland casts Uro. I'll just do that. Or pull ahead this way. I can answer the Lord of Atlantis. Just missed the Uro land drop though, so he's going to know that I don't have that. Fuck. Probably wants to take me off white. Yeah, that's my removal color. So that daze set him back in a way that... Like, if he didn't daze and just, like, took the L on the card from Silvergill Adept, then he could have wasted and played Master that turn. Alright, moment of truth. Come on, lands. Alright, got a bunch of lands. Woof. Needed that. Um, Strix... Will be good at some point. Um, I maybe not. I think I just need the lands pretty desperately here, but unfortunately, I need to cast ending this turn. At least one of the endings, which means I lose one of these good cards. I'm gonna lose one of the brainstorms. This removal is really important. I'm gonna get Savannah. I have another blue source in my hand, and I'm gonna ending the tide shaper. They both have two power, and one of them. Can't get dazed when I go for it here. So that's what I'm going to go for. Time for Lord, or are we going to keep chipping away? Yeah, there's a Lord. Take three here. 
I can remove this lord. I hope. Elful Strix, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go for removing the lord. And it can't daze this. Force of Will would be pretty good. As Force of Will, after all. Force pitching another Lord of Atlantis. I'm gonna brainstorm here. If I find Force of Will and can win this fight, that's actually a huge deal and worth doing. Because Strix doesn't block if I don't win this fight. Oof. Okay, okay. Um, put these two back. Or no, I, I think Ponder's better than Strix. No, I don't think it is. Maybe Ponder was better than Strix. I might regret that. Oh, another Force. Okay. Alright, so now Uro and Endurance and Baleful Strix have to beat these creatures. Don't have another one. Okay, Chalice is fine. Alright, I'm just going to slam through my turn here. Hope he attacks with the Lord. Forgets about Endurance. That's my only chance. Okay, okay. Did we do it? Green, green, colorless. Oof. I don't know what card. I mean, like, Merfolk Trickster could blow me out here. Please let me get this block in. Oh my god. Ugh. My heart is in my throat right now. That was a huge turn of the game. Harbinger of the Tides. This bounces a tapped creature. Okay. Uh, blue, black. Really interested in a land that casts a row at some point. Still can't attack. I need to fade Lord of Atlantis. Three of them are gone. Uh, two got pitched to Force of Wills. There's no attacks here. Come on, deck. Help me out. Okay, that at least counters the next Lord of Atlantis. I can't cast the Ponder because of Chalice. Ooh. Right on time. All right, deck. How about giving me the land for Uro now? I need it so bad. Let me get Uro into play, you fucker. Uh. And I have two islands in play, so I can't waste myself off islands right now either. I play more lands than my opponent has. Okay, uh, green, green, blue, blue. Yes, 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 yes. All right, Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, I guess I can't do that till next turn. Please don't draw Lord right now. No, Wasteland's just as bad. Oh, that's so smart. Didn't target an island, which means that I can't, still can't waste myself off islands. I need to draw a green source now. Oh, okay. Now we're cooking. Um, I can destroy Chalice and get a land back, or I could kill uh, Merfolk, get a land back. I think I need a land more than I need anything else. Okay, uh, minus three, minus one, and get a land. Okay, um, I'm going to target I'm with the mill. Like I, I don't know why it would matter. Let's take Merfolk out of play right now. Okay, okay. And I'm going to pick up Savannah. Okay, now Lord isn't lethal even through... Like, they plays Lord. Uh, please don't. Oh god, true name. That's bad too. Alright. True name... Uro still beats true name. Land for turn. Green, green. Blue, blue. One. Two, three, four, five. All right, please don't have. All right, you can't have force. There's only one card in that hand. Another delta. Oh, baleful strix can attack now. Got to get this game over with somehow. The plague engineers are going to be big this game. Oh, got the concession. I'm so stressed out about that. Dre, you're killing me, man. Okay, uh, gutshot plague engineer. Witherbloom Command. Witherbloom Command was a complete banger there. Uh, carpet. I don't know if I want stuff like Mystical Dispute, though I do have Wastelands in my deck for Cavern, so it's not a complete shit show. Like, I want some number of counter spells, but also have to respect Cavern. Flusterstorm, Force and Negation are definitely bad. Dress Down can strip the, the Island Walk off all the creatures for a turn, which is sometimes all you need for a giant block. And that picks off the lords and stuff. Like that endurance that am ambushed the Lord of Atlantis on turn four or five, whatever that was, that was the entire game. If you can knock Island Walk off the things, you're good. Okay, uh, these five definitely coming in. These three definitely coming out. I think I can shave down to two Force of Will. I don't think Jace is going to play in this matchup at all. 
and Bale doesn't matter. I don't think Seeds matters. Oh, this is 5 in, 5 out right now. Candidate is no, Narset no. Mystical Dispute's the last one with a little heat on it. Like, that could win a fight over a Force of Will on something important. Like, this is mostly offensively. Like, when I go for the Endurance and Block, it goes for Force. That's when I Dispute. But the Wastelands do give me some hope to keep Cavern out of play. Okay. What's the last cut if this is the world I'm living in? Uh, no, I'm on the draw. I, I'm, I need the Force of Wills, not the Mystical Disputes. This is what I'm doing. Source to Plowshares in answer to Chalice. I'm going to keep. And I can, weirdly enough, try to play this game without islands for a while. Not easy. It can be done. I'm actually just going to shove the Tundra. We didn't have a turn one play. If he wastes me, then not going to have a turn two play either. Silver Girl Adapt revealing Master of the Pearl Trident. So Master is part of this game. I save my removal for the, the Lords. Press down. Love it. Oh, Hull Breacher's a merfolk. I'm going to brainstorm now. I can't fall for that shit. Mystic Sanctuary, not important. And I don't need all these fetch lands. Uh, Zvalin of the Sea and Sky might be a card in their deck. So I think I want to keep the Caracas around. It's also notably not an island. I'm going to take two. You got me. Uncounterable true name. Uh, if you dress down in response, it never gets to name a thing. But obviously that's not what happened here. I'm going to get a black. No, I can fetch black when I need to. I'm going to get tropical. No, I have two trops in my hand. Yeah, I will just get black. The fetch line gives me a lot of freedom. Uh, I can't just jam Teferi, test for dazes here. Yeah, I'm just going to shove Teferi onto the stack. Resolved. Uh, bounce, Silvergill. It takes some temporary pressure off, but he's going to get to recast that, draw another card. Teferi just slamming into play like that. I'm not sure if he just doesn't care about it or can't answer it which are two different things. It's reasonable not to care about this card right now. But it, it's going to absorb at least five damage here. The two that bounced from the other thing. Tide Shaper can turn this off of a white land. It's just an island if you kick, as long as Tide Shaper stays in play. Gotta attack to Fairy here, I imagine. Yeah. Fairy's gone. Five extra life. In the bucket. I'm wasting the cavern. Let's not play that game any more than I have to. I can sorts to plowshares the true name with dress down involved. Another tide shaper. I'm gonna dress this down also. Didn't have days a turn ago. Draw here. Moment of truth. Plow your true name. Yes, it's gone. Okay. Uh, if my hand can materialize a spell, you know, like brainstorm. How about brainstorm, please? Jesus. Okay, uh, well, I have seven lands in hand. Brainstorm just switches this game onto its face. Uh, removal spell, Uro, all good things, but instead I'm taking six right now and I'm dead on board. Nope, they need one more damage. Come on, deck, how about a spell? Brainstorm, help me out. Jesus. Not like this, as they say. Well, the hand wasn't a counter spell, so. It must be a creature. I don't have a sweeper that can get me out of this at this point. Yeah, okay. Now it doesn't even have to respect endurance, doesn't have to do anything. Uh, sometimes you draw 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands. Alright, I'm on the play for the next game. That sucked. Okay. Do I want the Mystical Dispute on the play? Do I like Force of Will where it is? Kind of like interacting on the stack at least a little bit. Gutshot, does that actually kill anything? Like, I'm always going to have an island for Tide Shaper. It basically only kills a dressed down true name or a Silver Girl Adept without a Lord in play. Yeah, maybe Mystical Disputes just better. Okay, here's the plan. Let's go. Hands and spells? I'll keep it. Opponents on six. Uh, ponder right away. Find some more spells. That's not it. 
shuffle that with extreme prejudice through a land. Cool. You know, Uro is the king of flood games, so hopefully he'll at least do something here. Come on, Witherbloom Command. Brainstorm. That's a card. I'm gonna cast it. Okay. Found me additional cards. Put back Savannah and Flooded Strand. Don't think he's gonna have Stifle. At least I hope not. So you never know. Violon one doesn't do a whole lot in this the current construction of the deck. I guess Tide Shaper is a two-two. No ready or not, here it comes. Master resolves. I'm gonna fetch away those lands I don't want. Get a white source. Get Savannah, I think. Yeah. Savannah looks good. Prismatic ending. That I like. I like it quite a bit, in fact. I'm gonna prismatic ending the vial and see what happens with this. I still have my land drop. I'm gonna take him off the cavern. I'm not ready for an uncounterable true name nemesis. And there's a chance I kept a landlight hand with vile. Okay. Two damage and no follow up. Suspect true name nemesis for sure. I'm gonna fetch Bayou. Nope, not with this land. I'm not. How many times am I gonna do that? Okay. Uh, guess I'll get Tropical Island. And I'm gonna Uro. Or do I just plow here? I just plow when I know the getting's good. No, I am gonna Uro. This is life. It's cards. I can still plow. Uro trigger found another plow. That's great. Let him draw. True name mana is now available. And I'm gonna have to kill this thing eventually. Let's just cast the spell. If he dazes now, he can't cast true name. And the Savannah's already in play. I have to get Tundra. I hope there's not like a Shroud Merfolk I forgot about. Oh, nothing? Nothing over there? Whew. Light from the Loam target. Wasteland and two fetches. It's a, a big, big turn. Force of Negation could counter my Loam on the hard cast. Yeah, there's that. Um, I'll brainstorm in response. Pitch cast the force had the mana. No. Okay. I have I have plow. Jesus. Please don't have anything left. The last card in your hand is not days. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh my god. I'm so fucking stressed out right now. Okay. Uh, put these two lands back in my deck. Loam is exiled forever. I can put Swords of Plowshares on top of my deck with Mystic Sanctuary, and then I can shove Uro into play. True name, okay. Uh, wasteland, all right. I'll, I'm gonna have to use the fetch land to get around the, like, make sure my colors are up. I'm not gonna get to Sanctuary this turn. Not that I need to against True Name. That's the not the card you want for that. But my opponent is Hellbent. I'm about to escape Uro, and let's pull ahead here. Uro races the hell out of True Name. I'm at a comfortable 18 life. I have the mana. No matter how, what where the wasteland goes, I have what I need here. I should have been paying more attention. Last turn, I mean, Dre is a good player. We're 7-2 and two in this tournament. He would have uh, hard cast the Wasteland, or hard cast the Force Indigation. I should have, instead of saying like, oh, just didn't do it, I should have been like, why didn't he do it? And the answer is obviously Hall Breacher. Luckily I had the answer, but fuck. Oh, I didn't want that, and I knew I didn't want that. Got to shuffle. All right, tighten up. I need a green source here. I think I want Bayou. And green, blue, blue, yeah. Get my black up and my green up. Um, I'm gonna play Underground C. I'd rather leave up white for a turn. Green. green. I can eat my lands now because Loam's gone. Endurance tucking my deck back into itself is the only thing left that I need to consider a graveyard for. Ah. And we got it. He packed it into the Uro. I have no idea. Like, 14th is pretty deep, and I was in third out of the X2s. Two or three X2s are going to make top eight, but I, I have to beat the two people who are already ahead of me on breakers and everyone who lost at 8-1. I feel like I'm 9th or 10th here, but I'm going to cross my fingers and hope. I've done what I can do here.
We'll be back shortly for either the top eight or the deck debrief. And here we find ourselves back in the deck tech area, meaning that I did not make top eight. It actually wasn't even close. I was in 12th. Only one X2 made it, and I was not even second or third place among the X2s at the end of the day. So should have won another match somewhere. Anyway, this deck felt really good. The one life from the loam just came in clutch so many times. Two wastelands seemed like the right number. Like you really do waste people out in the end step or in the end game. Still love dress down. That's a, a card I'll, I'm always happy to register. These numbers all felt really good. Uh, I feel like Teferi could be something else, but I'm not sure what. I, I don't think I'd want a Narset main. I don't think I want the second Jace. Grist doesn't really fit what this deck's ultimately trying to do. Like, it doesn't have creatures it wants to sack. Elfal Strix, but that's not really what we're trying to do here. So, as far as just a good magic card you can put in your deck, Teferi hangs out. Like, Teferi was good every time he was in play. Uh, I'm not going to critique it. The mana base, it is scary in the early turns for someone like myself who's really interested in stable mana and getting my resources under me. Just every land in the deck being wasteable is scary, but the high land count, there's 23 lands in this deck, is so many, plus the loam to reload eventually, and Witherbloom Command it helps hit the land drops. This actually, it, it felt pretty good. I didn't have to play against a Blood Moon or Back to Basics at all today. Against those kind of cards, you'd probably want to force a Vigor in the sideboard just if that's something that's going on in your metagame. But I wasn't really expecting those today, and I, I was right about that. Losses to Death and Taxes and Doomsday. Death and Taxes is a grindhouse, and like, we know that. I feel like Plague Engineer and the Loam give you more range and reach in that matchup than the Red Splash would. I think in our Taxes matchup, it really came down to not finding a Wasteland quick enough. Like, my Uro was behind to their Caracas for too long, and being able to waste them off of that would have been a difference maker. In our Doomsday matchup, we beat one Doomsday player, then lost to another two rounds later, and the difference was really just uh, card quality. There's a lot of dead cards against Doomsday in the main deck. Uh, Swords of Plowshares, Prismatic Ending, you don't want that kind of stuff, Light from the Loam. But there's a lot of live cards too, like the Fluster, Endurance, Five Forces, Two Dress Downs. Even Witherbloom Command can can spike them. But you're not really going to beat the Thoughtseize into Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Doomsday on the play start from one of the better Doomsday pilots out there. That person ended up in top eight, of course. I just spent 10 rounds playing a tournament, so my brain's not at maximum capacity, but this deck is good. I do like it. Witherbloom Command does a pretty good expressive iteration impression on the post end of any bands. If we get any bands, I, and I hope we do, this could be somewhere to start because uh, it, these, these two mana two for ones, that's what expressive iteration is. That's what dig through time was like that, that it, this is a powerful card. I wish the, the creature mode was a little more powerful, but then it would probably be too easy. I'm into it. I like this deck. Pokemoki, you built a sweet one. Brendan, thanks for leaving the door open for me to play this for the channel. Thank everyone for watching, and top 16, nothing to sniff at. Wish I got that top 8. I'm going to be back next week for three vintage tournaments, hoping to make the top 8 of one of those, and keep the streak alive. Thank you all for watching. This was a long one. If you made it to the end, you're a real hero. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, engage patreon buy a shirt you made it this far you earned it treat yourself and i'll see you next time